some music. Rusty James. This is Throwing Stones. This is our fourth live show. Thank you for being here. Uh, we have been in business 20 years and we have traveled all over the world to obtain our stones. Uh, we've been traveling to the source, usually to the hole in the ground or to the mining cities and areas and buying at the markets uh, and from the people that have been digging for a very long time. Uh, we have been supporting artisanal mining in many different countries and continents for a very long time. Uh, we have lots of mining projects. We support all kinds of people that are uh, taking the time to do the most sovereign act left on the planet, which is to dig minerals with your hands. Uh, it doesn't really require even an education. All it requires is a desire to work and you can create and manifest um, just with your bare hands. Uh, artisanal mining is perhaps the last thing left that hasn't been taken by the corporations and uh, hoarded for themselves. Uh, so we are very adamant a, about supporting people all over the world who are going out of their way to dig with their hands and to pull stuff out of the earth. Uh, they test their luck and if they find stuff they are able to support themselves with their their sovereignty and that's a really important thing uh, so thanks for joining us uh, if you have any questions please let me know uh, we have lots of experience in lots of different markets all over the world and we're here to share that experience with you tonight so hey thanks pretty rocks appreciate you I'm gonna turn around here I think we are going to start tonight with Moldavite Everybody's favorite green stone. Uh, maybe not everybody, but obviously pretty popular stone. Has been for quite some time. Moldavite has grown in popularity pretty tremendously over the past few years, and especially since about October was the first big wave on TikTok. Um, again, I've said it before, but TikTok is not the exclusive reason for the Moldavite prices going up. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the Czech Republic 
and with the uh, issuing of licenses in the Czech Republic, it has a lot to do with supply and demand. Uh, the demand obviously was increased by TikTok, uh, but the supply is more in control of the Czech government. So the first item I have to show you tonight, we're going to start with some B-grade Moldavite. This is in the inexpensive range. This is $662. This is $30. Uh, you can see that it does have a little bit of damage here. Uh, that is the reason for the lower price points on our B-grade Moldavite. Um, I guess I need to add my little blurb here before I get started. Let me add a comment here to claim. Please write the SKU number and price and say claimed. If I don't mention your name, the comment might not have been seen and possibly use words instead of numbers. All right, I'm gonna pin that. And thank you all for being here tonight. It's nice to see some new faces as well as some familiar faces. Uh, the next B-grade Moldavite that we're going to show tonight is this one here. And for those of you just joining us, uh, we have been sourcing minerals directly from the source all over the world, directly out of the ground whenever we can, and also directly from the hands of the people who are mining it as well as the people in the markets in country of origin. That's very important to us. Uh, we are a source to retail business. Uh, it's very important for us to uh, try to make sure that authenticity is established and that's why we've done as much traveling as we have. I have taken 50 trips internationally to source and to sell minerals, crystals and stones. And we have a very wide experience that is unparalleled in a lot of the social media world. Uh, feel free to ask us any questions. We're happy to share our knowledge with you. Uh, we guarantee authenticity of our Moldavite and all of our stones. And we have gone well out of our way to ensure that we can prove that statement. Uh, this is the second item that we're offering tonight. This is a B-grade Moldavite. It does have a little bit of damage. That's why we call it B-grade. Um, and the price reflects accordingly. And that item will be available for sale there. We will go back and review everything. The third item that we have here, this is another B-grade Moldavite. You can see there's a, an area here that's incomplete. Uh, this is good for carving. Uh, this one is six sixty four. It's forty dollars. And thank you all for joining us tonight. The next moldavite. This is another B grade stone. It's got good texture. These are all from the Chlum deposit. C H L U M. A lot of people say Chlum. Who have not traveled to the source. Um, I will not claim to be anywhere remotely proficient in Czech, but I have been to the Czech Republic many times, and I first started going in 2003, and I bought my first set of Moldavite from the miners, and it was a really interesting experience. They took me out to the places that they were digging and showed me where it was coming from, and they took me out into the field, and I got to pick up a few off the, off the field where they had just plowed, and that was really cool. And uh, a neat story that I like to tell is the when I was first there, the first time I got shown this amazing collection of really big pieces, and I wasn't really sure. I was a little hesitant for some reason. Uh, and I drove away, and I didn't buy it. And about an hour later, I told my friend, I said, you need to take me back there. I think we need to go back and buy those. And uh, it would have been the biggest mistake I think I'd ever made. Uh, a lot of those pieces I still have in my collection. Uh, you know, 20, 30 gram pieces, really nice material uh, that was priced really inexpensively back in 2003. Four, five, six dollars a gram for that stuff. A lot of that stuff now goes for 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars a gram for the really nice big pieces. Uh, so the times have definitely changed. Um, for those of you just joining us, if you'd like to claim, you can read the pinned comment. You please use this number here and the price and say claim. 
Uh, if you just uh, say claim and the price, usually we'll figure it out and I will usually verify it with you as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we will go over everything again. Um, I'd like to give an overview here. This is the next piece. It's got some nice texturing here. It does have a little bit of incomplete. This is why we call it B grade. It is priced accordingly. And I want to be transparent about what I'm showing you. So I'm showing you all the sides, giving you an idea of what you're looking at. This piece is $668. $65. Uh, we ship worldwide and our pricing for domestic USA shipping starts at $5. I think we have it set up so that if you get over $100 it costs $10 in shipping and international generally starts at about $10 and it we have really good international rates. Uh, we have a top 100 Etsy store in the world. Uh, we ship between 150 and 300 packages out every single day. And we have really good shipping relationships with all of the major shipping companies because of that. So we can actually provide really inexpensive shipping internationally as well. Uh, we have a good, a good service with UPS Express where we can get you to most countries in the world, we can get you a parcel within five days and small, um, small amounts of weight is about $30. And of course it goes up if you have larger weights. Uh, for those of you just joining us, we are showing B-grade Moldavite. And we have a little group here that we've shown and we will go back over that. Next piece here. Another nicely colored. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And it's a little tricky to get that close. So this is another little piece of mold light. It's got a couple little blemishes on it. The price is reflective of that. This one is $30. Thank you all for, for joining us tonight. Please stick around. We have a lot of stuff to show you. I'll probably bounce around a little bit. We do have a good bit of Ahoite to show tonight. Uh, it's usually really popular. Uh, it's something that's really difficult to get. It's, Ahoite has been extinct for a number of years. And this is another piece here. This is $42. Moldavite, the stone of amplification. And some of the stuff that you see on TikTok is a little bit funny. And oh, Moldavite ruined my life. Oh, I can't, I don't know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like the stones don't really do those kinds of things. Doesn't matter what the stone is, a lot of it is your own vibration. And Moldavite can be an amplifier. It definitely does some weird things. It can definitely disappear sometimes. I kind of have a theory that when Moldavite disappears, it's actually has just shifted into a different uh, dimension and it's still working on you and still working with you and it's kind of acts like a guide. Uh, it also teaches detachment <laughs> because some people are like, oh my gosh, my Moldavite disappeared. What am I going to do? I got to get another one. And, you know, sometimes people do get another one and another many. This is something that people generally like to collect a lot of. Um, but the Moldavite hasn't really gone away if it disappears on you. It's just uh, shifted into a different place and it will still be helping you in a lot of different ways. And sometimes it reappears and sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of funny like that. Okay, so that's all the B-grade Moldavite that I have to show you. And I'm going to show you some other stuff here. This is a cabochon that I had cut from the rough and it's got a little bit of natural on the side here. Uh, we have relationships with cutting houses in four or five different countries and we are constantly cutting stones. 
a lot of times I will buy the rough and send it to the country to have it cut there or sometimes I buy the stone in country of origin and just cut it there um, we've been cutting pretty regularly in China India Indonesia mostly uh, but we also have some stuff that we've been cutting in Pakistan and we've also been manufacturing in Madagascar and a lot of that stuff will be coming through and available for sale at some point in the near future. Um, if you haven't checked out our Etsy shops, we have two Etsy shops. Uh, one is Throne Stones, that's our main account. Uh, we are currently ranked 85 of all Etsy shops in America for all categories. And we are number six in our category of home and living. And we have a national rank of 14, according to E-Rank, and a global rank of 31. So this little cabochon here is L660. It is $50. It's a four-carat stone. And it is ready to set into jewelry, into some of your artistic projects. That's, that's the first, the very first cabochon of moldavite that i've been able to offer because i just got them back from the cutting house i actually had a lot of stones that have been stuck not able to be cut for quite a while because of the COVID situation this is another cabochon uh, this is polished all the way around you can see the little bubbles in there and the little lines in there are called lecterites it's part of what helps to identify moldavite i might be butchering that word uh, it's named after I think it was a French guy, can't remember, but it's like, it's a really difficult word to pronounce. Um, but I guarantee the authenticity of all in Moldavite. I know that I cut this from Moldavite that was in the raw that I provided myself, and I have very good relationships with all of the cutting houses that do my work. Um, and for those of you just joining us, yeah, that's the word, Zach. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Lecatelierites. Yeah, something like that. And it's probably, if it's a French guy, then I know I'm butchering it because I don't speak French very well. Uh, Spanish, on the other hand, I'm, I'm okay at, but French, no. The white inclusions in Moldavite. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by the white inclusions. Uh, I know it's got little bubbles and stuff. Um, if we were to use a microscope, I'm not really sure if that would be white or not. Um, but anyways, I'm, I can't really answer your question very well. I apologize, Lucky Digger. So 661 is $80. It's a 10 carat stone. And it's a pretty relatively big stone. Um, it's about an inch in length. And this would be an excellent piece to put into a wire wrap or a fabricated piece or just set in silver possibly gold well, there's a lot of, I know there's a lot of artists out there and this is available for you so let me make some room here I can make another row a little piece of paper here it makes it helpful for me so that I can get stuff out of the way but then go back and visit it again all right, so those are the two cabochons that I have to offer tonight. And the rest of that is some B-grade Moldavite, priced about $23 a gram. And if you buy one of those cabochons, I have some little chips here. Uh, I can sell some of these chips individually, but I'm not going to show them individually. If you want some of these chips, uh, they're call, I call them uh, trimmings. This is actually cutoffs from the cutting process. Most of them have a flat back and then have uh, some flat surface, or, you know, um, this still has the texture on it. So I am going to be giving away a lot of these. We're going to have a really big program where we're going to be giving away thousands of these little pieces over the course of like six months. And that is to develop interest and develop traffic and to get Moldavite out there into the hands of people who really want it and who either can't afford it or have a hard time getting it. Uh, it's sort of a service to the community. Uh, thank you very much for being with us and for 
being a part of our experience. So anyways, if you end up buying one of these cabochons, I'm going to give you one of these pieces for free. And the same will go with some of the other Moldavite. You get a free Moldavite chip with purchase. Not all purchases, but with some purchases, and I'll try to make that clear. Okay, the next piece. Uh, this is one I've shown before, so for those of you who have seen this before, I apologize, but um, this we're calling the turtle head. You can kind of see, it's kind of like a snapping turtle. This is a natural hole. Uh, it's a thin piece. It's got a big surface area for the weight. And this is the turtle head Moldavite, and it is $100. That comes with a free Moldavite chip. 284 is the SKU number. I'm gonna put this over here. And the next piece. This is also one that I've shown before. I really like this piece. I'm really kind of surprised that somebody hasn't bought this. Um, I call it the Wu-Tang Clan piece. It sort of looks like that. It also kind of looks like a bird, like a pterodactyl. <laughs> I know, I'm a goofball. I apologize. I have to do that sometimes. Humor is a very good part of life. So sometimes I make myself laugh and sometimes I'm just an idiot. So as long as I can enjoy myself, um, that's all that really matters. <laughs> so the Wu-Tang Clan pterodactyl piece is $60 and that will come with a free Moldavite chip. And I'm going to put this here. And one more piece. This is also something that I've shown before. This is a really thin piece with a nice surface area. It's over an inch. It's probably an inch and a quarter. And it's really hard to find thin pieces with this kind of weight. This only weighs three grams. And usually pieces this size weigh a lot more. They weigh 8 grams, 10 grams, just depends on how thick it is. And it is a complete piece, doesn't have any damage. It's $110, and it will come with a free Moldavite chip. So who's going to get us started off tonight? Who's it going to be? The lucky winner. Alright, so I'm going to show this one now. This piece is crazy. Super, super cool. I'm gonna polish it up with my little cloth here. So this is a carving. It is a reverse carving of ET. And you can see the ET in the basket and the bicycle there. And then you can see ET's face down in the bottom. And the little moon there. Uh, E.T.'s face kind of lights up a little bit. has some like little reflective aspects to it. This was carved by Forged Elements, Jack Hoke, who is a very uh, talented carver with a very interesting vision. He does all kinds of cool stuff, and not just reverse intaglio, but all kinds of other interesting designs and ideas. Uh, if you haven't checked him out, you really should. Uh, he's very innovative, and some of the things that he's doing is mind-blowing. Um, I even think that he's creating doublets with little pictures inside. So he takes two stones, and he puts a picture in between them. And it's kind of neat. I've never seen anybody do that before, and I'm really uh, happy that he was willing to work with me. So this is the E.T. Moldavite carving. And this is $550. I don't have a skew on this one, but obviously, you know, you just say ET 550 or ET carving, please. We'll give you several pieces of Moldavite chips in addition to that for free. And yeah, really interesting stuff. Really cool idea. Jack Hoke. Forged elements, check them out. At Wood 81, 550 claimed. Thank you very much, my friend. I'm gonna pick you out 
get get us started for the night. Really appreciate you. I'm gonna pick you out a couple of nice big chips here. And let's see what we got. All right. So these little guys are gonna go with that carving. Thank you very very much, Atwood eighty one. Getting us started off tonight with the ET carving. That is a killer piece. I'm really not very excited to see it go, but I'm really happy that you got it. So thank you very much for that. Okay, the next piece. Uh, no, we have not shown the Ajo yet. We just started and we've been going 25 minutes in. Thank you very much, Atwood. We're really grateful for you. Uh, Rock Pile Minerals, we will be showing Ajo White right after our show about 15 more pieces of Moldavite. And we're moving pretty fast tonight, so that's pretty good. This is a really killer piece of Moldavite jewelry. Um, has a little tiny speck there. Uh, this has a hole drilled in it so that there is minimal silver that is needed. and has a little pin. It's a very popular style. It was made in the Czech Republic. Sterling silver. Um, and this piece is 300. This will definitely include a free Moldavite chip to go with it. And you can be the lucky owner of this amazing piece. It is about an inch and a half piece of Moldavite plus the bale is about two inches. And that is a super, super piece. You can see all the textures here. So that's two. 294. And let's see here. Set myself up with another piece. The next piece is let's jump around a little bit. So this is a half polished piece. And let's see. What I like about this style is that they do this dome on one side and they keep the back natural and the dome actually sort of magnifies the piece. And let me see if I can get the light behind it there. It's another, another neat way of presenting Moldavite. Uh, the stone is about an inch, about an inch and a half with the bale. And this piece is $298, $222. And it will come with a free Moldavite chip. And the next one, I'll do another one of those. This is a little bit smaller, thicker piece. see the texture there. This is a half polished piece. It's in sterling silver. And this one is 190L299. It will come with a free Moldavite chip. And the next piece is another one of these styles here. This is a nice top grade piece, good color from the Chloom deposit. Hey Sam, just tuned in. Yeah, we did the B grade. I will. I did that first. It's all back there. Um, I will show it to you again. I definitely picked out some good ones with you in mind. Um, I will go over it in a second. And this one has got a nice little hole in it in the bottom. That's a natural divot. Sterling silver, really cool design. And this one is $295, is the skew, $300. That will come with a free Moldavite chip. Uh, Sam, I'm gonna go, I'll bring you the other B grade pieces now. Here, let's do this, let's do a recap really quick. So. This is 662, it's $30. And, oops. 
Sixty-three. It's forty. All right, Sam. Thank you. Six sixty-two. I'll pull that aside for you. I'm gonna keep going here. This is six sixty-four. It's forty. Five. A little bit bigger, 65. It's got a really nice texture on that one. It's got some wear on that edge, but you know the deal. And let's see. 667. Yep, I got you for 662, Sam. That one's 667, that one's 50. This one, 65. It's a bigger piece. It's got like a glassy texture to it. Really good color on that one. Six six nine. It's this one here. That one's forty. Six seventy. This is thirty. Seventy, I got you for that one, Sam. Thank you very much. Uh, surely, make sure you're paying attention to comments too, um, just in case I see something or if I miss something. Uh, we've got a backup if for some reason there's a shadow banned comment. We've got somebody else in the back that are with a different account that's hopefully trying to catch them. If we don't see them, somebody else should see them. So if I don't call your claim. Uh, please speak up because we all know that Instagram is trying to do some funny stuff and take some of the thunder. <laughs> this one is 55. And that is all of the B-grade Moldavite that I took out tonight. Sam, I'm perfectly happy to show you some others, uh, either after the show or tomorrow or before we ship. If you didn't see anything else that you liked, I will show you some others for sure. Uh, this is a cabochon that's half polished and half natural. This one is 50. This just came out, just came back from the cutter. 664 and 663, I did not actually, but I do now, Sam, so thank you. So 664 and 663 are claimed for you. And thanks for speaking them again. This uh, Instagram shadow banning situation of comments is kind of frustrating, especially for people like us who are just getting started. Uh, we do have a potential backup plan for now. We definitely have... Uh, other people helping us and watching but they didn't see it either <laughs> so we got two other people so if I don't say your claim like I said please repeat them uh, so back to the recap 
Sam, 662, I did catch your claim. So you have yes. 662, 663, 670, and 664. And 664. Sam, there's four pieces that we've got you claimed for. Uh, let's see, it says 661. 661, here you go. Aaron Schmarin, this is 661. This is a fully polished cabochon. Um, it has some really interesting play of light going on in there. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more. This is 661, it's $80. It's got some lecaturites or whatever, however you say that, and some little bubbles in there. Ready to go into jewelry. It's a really nice piece. It is. It's got a nice rim for setting. And it also obviously sits really well. It's about two fingers. It's a little over an inch. Hopefully that gives you a good indication of what you're looking for. And as always, we of course guarantee the authenticity of our Moldavite. We've been buying from the Czech Republic since 2003. So that one is there. Uh, back to finishing, finishing the recap. Uh, a couple of you guys have seen this one before. This is the turtle head, 284. Do I have more polished ones? Loose, I do. Jans. <laughs> I don't have any prepared with SKUs and prices, um, but I'm happy to show you some others after the show. Probably not after the show tonight, but if you send me a message, I will show you some more polished material uh, probably first thing in the morning. 668 claim by Sam. Nope, did not. Thanks for repeating that, Sam. It's gonna be a long night with mm -hmm. frustrating situation. Jans, is it Jans or Jans? <laughs> if it was, if you're in Europe, it's probably Jans. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and send me a message, Jans. And uh, so, Sam, I did get your 668 claim. Thank you. Uh, if there was anything else that you wanted, by all means, we've got five. Yeah, emojis help your claims go through. Cool. Thanks, Jans. Um, all right, so back to the, the recap here. This is a nice thin piece. It's three grams, 110 bucks. And we showed this pendant here. And that one. I'll discount this one tonight. Uh, I'll do 260 on this one. 294. Uh, these are really special pieces. Uh, I bought these right at the height when the Moldavite started going crazy. I had someone who sent me a parcel and I bought it. And uh, I since got shown another parcel and it was like 30% more expensive. And I was like, mm, I'm not really sure. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get these again. Uh, they are really nice. So this one I will be discounting to 260 That's 294 and this polished one here. I will also discount this one to 190. Half polished piece, about an inch stone. And this one, a little smaller, this one can be 160. And I wonder if we should write those down. Yeah. So 294 is 260, Nicole. 298 is down to 190, and 299 is 160. Okay. And I appreciate you doing that. That's definitely something that yeah. I'm going to have a hard time remembering every single piece. Yeah. Okay. This one also I will discount to $260. Uh, let me see if I can get a good backlit. The reason these are, these are super good pieces, very select good for color, uh, they're just really nice top grade pieces. Yeah, the half polished ones are great. Um, I have a few more, I actually have a good bit of those. Uh, I didn't prepare a lot of them, but I will show you a couple more. Aaron Schmarin, if you wanna see others of the half polished pieces, 
and you don't see one that you like tonight, by all means, uh, send me a message. So this one I will do for 190. I'm going to discount this one tonight as well. And this is half polished. This is the stone itself is about an inch and a quarter. And that's L300, Nicole, okay. 190. Yep. And here's a really big one. This one is just incredible. Look at the patterns on that. That's just crazy. It's a really nice high domed, thick piece. And sterling silver, of course. And we have this one marked at 480. And I'm going to take 430 on this piece tonight. And all of the pendants will come with a free Moldavite chip. And we are super grateful for all of you for being here. Thanks for joining us. For all of you who are new and for all of the people who have been here before. Uh, my name is Rusty James with Throwing Stones. We've been in business for 20 years. And we are a source to retail, service to others company. Um, our goal is to service humanity and all living beings through the mineral kingdom. Here's another design. This is all natural Moldavite. Uh, they've got it in a little cage here, sterling silver. And these are fresh off the boat. These just arrived. This one's 140. This will come with a free Moldavite chip. And that stone is a little bit over a half inch. And I don't know if you can see, oh, there we go. The color on that one is top. And it's got that nice bubble in the front. Or actually, like that bubble, it's on the inside. No, it's on the top. This is almost, almost poison green. Uh, actually, I would, I, I would venture to say that is poison green. That's a really nice piece, and that is 658, 140. And again, if I don't call your claim out and repeat it, please state it again. Use emojis. You can also write it in words, 140, for example, like that. Uh, writing it out is a really good way to avoid the shadow ban. Uh, unfortunately, we have to deal with that kind of situation. Uh, here's another one. This one's really cool. This is a curved Moldavite. It's got a nice little um, natural divot in the back. Let me see if I can get a better... You can kind of see it. Uh, come on. You can see it. There's a divot in the back. This is not the easiest type of Moldavite to set, so this cage style is actually really inventive, and it's really neat, unique. A lot of the Moldavite that's naturally gets set, it needs to be flat. Uh, but this is a better way to take the weird pieces and find a way to set them. And this one is $659, $140. It will also come with a free Moldavite chip. And for those of you who are just joining us, free Moldavite chips. These little guys like this. Let me see if I can zoom out here. All right, so get the light out of the way. Another one of this style. This is a little bit bigger. This is another curved piece. Really nice color. Complete all the way around. It's got nice little bubbles in there. It's got the curved cage. Shows off the Moldavite really, really well. I really like this piece. This one is $305, $200. It will come with a Moldavite chip for free. And let's see, another style that we have here. Fast, fully faceted Moldavite with prong settings. Um, very nicely done. You can see the lecturites, or however you say that word. 
I'm going to stumble on that word forever. I'm going to have to practice that one. But it's that little like wavy lines on the inside. It's one of the uh, defining characteristics of Moldavite that you can tell that it's real versus like the manufactured. You can't reproduce the electrolytes. See all those like little lines in there? And it's almost, they're not inclusions. It's just, uh, it's like little wavy things in there. When you look at it with a microscope or even with the loop, you can see them. They kind of have this shimmer to them. Uh, yeah, of course, bubbles are a good indication that they're real, but bubbles can be recreated. So this one is L309. It is $130. And I will zoom out here. And it's about the size of my finger. Yeah, almost as big as my thumbnail. And the next faceted piece is this one here. Full of lectorites. Uh, yep, 130, Aaron Schmarin price huh it's 2.1 grams faceted piece really nicely done I have four three more of these to show uh, so there's that one and there's this one which is a little bit smaller you can see my thumbnail there and this one is a hundred even that's 311 Very nicely fabricated piece. And this one here is a little bit different. They're all somewhat similar, but of course, in a little bit different shape, a little bit different size, but well, basically the same concept. This one is 310 is the skew. $110, and it will come with a free Moldavite chip. All the pendants do. And last but not least, four faceted is this little guy. This is a little bit smaller than the other ones. And that one is 100 even, 312. more pendants and this one here these pendants are really awesome I'm really kind of surprised that nobody's jumped on any of these yet these are just great we got four different types here nice curved piece really well designed really well made all in sterling silver this one is 170 and it is about an inch and a half uh, actually about the stones inch and three quarters and this one this one is poison green that's a really nice color look at that that's almost almost top grade color like it's a high grade piece maybe it's poison green it's getting close i would i would call that one poison green i think it can get a little bit greener than that but that one's sweet it's like a pickle. Uh-oh, Nicole likes it. You better watch out. She's going to claim it. She's the boss, though. She has plenty. <laughs> that one is 170 And it will come with a free Moldavite chip. Oh, I didn't even have my light turned up because I keep bonking it. Thank you, Melissa McKenna. We appreciate you. Okay, one more of this style. And that one is also really good in color, really nice green, very nicely made. Probably an inch, the stone, the bales will even more. And that one is 165. Uh, again, if you're making claims and I'm not repeating your claim, please write it again and use emojis if you need to. 
Um, Instagram is trying to shadow ban and take a portion of all of our sales by forcing you to buy badges, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, we may go to a text-based service in the future, uh, but we'll see. So for now, we got this going on. So I'm discounting these styles. This is one that I haven't shown yet. This is $210. 296, we're going to do this one for 180. You got that, Nicole? 296 is 180. It will also come with a free Moldavite chip. And let's see if I can capture that color. Ooh, that one's got a bubble. Look at that. Nice. Surface surface textures. Yeah, this this style it's a little bit more expensive, but they chose really top grade material and you're getting more moldavite and less silver. And it's just stunning. And it is quite an amazing piece. Of course it hangs like this. Nice leafy texture. Marking that one down to a hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Last one. Do I have any heart shaped? Um that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't you. <laughs> Uh, Liz Gloria, if you want to send me a private, a, a direct message, I may have something sort of heart shaped. Um, I don't know about in a pendant form. I do have some of these little V's that I call birds. I'm going to show those at some point in the future. Um, but you're welcome to private message me and I will show you those first thing in the morning. This piece is crazy. Look at the texture on this. It's got these nice divots here all kinds of really good texture i really love this phone you can get so close with this camera it really i can't even see this this well with my eyes i like seeing it better through the phone which is really good um, good really good texture this is a large piece and this one is 250 dollars l308 this style we're not going to discount tonight. Uh, these are thinner. You get a lot more surface area for your money. And I paid a little bit less for this particular style. So, Top quality video. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing our best here. All right. So that is all of the Moldavite that I have prepared. Everything that you see here we have more of. I obviously can't show it all in one show. I don't want it to just be a Moldavite show. We've already gone almost an hour in and all I've shown is Moldavite and I've got a lot of other stuff to show. So I will do a very quick recap for those of you who may be interested. Um, all of this style got discounted. Let me zoom in here. I can't remember all the discounts, but I, I think this one was 190, I believe. Yep. Uh, this one was 160. And this one, really nice thick one, I think was 430. Thir 13, 301. yeah, 301, 13 grams. I mean, that's just a monster. That's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, let's see, we did that one. We've got this nice little guy, it's 140. All of these pendants will come with a free Moldavite chip. And this one, faceted style, it's 110. Uh, this one is the pickle, it's 170, poison green. Here's another faceted piece, 130, really nice big piece of faceted, stellar price. Might need to see faceted, okay, five, 658 claim for Sam. Uh, which one is that? 658. Okay. I got you down for 658. Sam, appreciate you. I had to scroll. I had my comments not scrolled all the way down. So, uh, Aaron Schmarin, I might need to see the faceted 1.5. That would be this one here. 
Karen Schmarin, this is 1.5 grams. That is $100. And it we'll gives you a nice close-up. You can see all the lecatherites. I'm really going to work on that word. <laughs> Lecatellierites. There you go. Le Lecatellierite. Oh, that's Italian. It's. I think it's a French guy, so I'm going to spoil it. Hey, Lecatellierite. Hey. It's Something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it there. Le Here, I'm gonna all right, I'm going to stick it on my forehead. Well, then I won't be able to see it. But, oh, I got oh, to zoom out. Lecatellierites. Lecatellierites. Hey. Except it's not Italian, but I'll just pretend. I need some espresso. <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Free Moldavite with your pendant. Hey. So that one, yeah, that's the one I was showing you before. That one's $100. And where did I leave off here? <laughs> Last time we did a show, I got, I was kind of, uh, I was, I needed to spruce myself up. So I, uh, I started speaking in all of the different languages that I know, uh, all English, of course, but uh, I put on all my accents and everybody had a big laugh and I made a fool out of myself and probably offended a bunch of people who didn't want to hear any of that, but that's okay. Not the goal, but like a daily, right? Hey, need some espresso. I'm doing a recap here. That one got discounted to 180. And this one is 250. It comes with a free hair. This one here, I'll make sure to put that in there for you. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't put that in your baggage, I promise. Um, <laughs> Main accent, oh man, I don't know about that one. I I would butcher it. It's like Canada, eh? It's like that. It, it, you go from Maine, eh? No, I can't even do it. I'm just I'm gonna embarrass lobster. myself. You got a lobster? Look at that lobster. It's a green lobster. That, that's probably Boston, though. I'm spoiling it's it. Boston. That's too Boston. All right, what did I miss here? This one here is uh, got a nice divot in the back. It's all natural. It's pretty cool. Hey, what's going on back there? We got a lobster. Lobster. <laughs> you get me going, I'll talk like I'm from India too. This one is an Indian stone. This is very nice green. It is very good. I have discounted this one to 190. It is perfect for your neck. You will love it. Shiva will bless you and Ganesha will bless you. It will be very good. You need it. 311, Sam. All right. We got you on that one. And I'll make sure that we add some chips to your parcel, Sam. Oh, my friend, my friend. <laughs> best price for you. I give you best, best price. Uh, I will make this for you $260. I know it says 250, but I am talking crazy and now it is 260 because I am crazy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, my friend. I will give you 240, 240 for going once, going once. Okay, let's get serious now. <laughs> yeah, it's the wholesalers. I've been all over the world and I'll tell you, when I went to India and Pakistan, when I talked like, when I put on with a southern accent, they didn't understand me, and I had to talk like them. Because if you talk like this, they don't know any nothing. They can't hear nothing you're saying. So, if you talk like them, they will understand everything you say. And you can make very good business. I don't even know if I understand myself when I talk like this. All right. Let's get down to business. I think I have shown you all of the Moldavite twice now, and uh, I'm entertaining myself. <laughs> so here's all of what we have that we have shown you. Okay, so I'm going to move on from Moldavite. Ah, oh, claim, claim for Sam Bryan, 659. We're not moving on yet. Keeping the spark alive, 659. Here we go. That's a beautiful piece, Sam. Love it. Is that, the one? that is the cur. Uh, I don't know if no, I. No, no, it's, no, it's different. 
I don't know what to call it, curved. I don't know what to call that. It's like, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's got a divot or a channel down the back of it or something. So we got you for that one, Sam. And if there's anything else that you see, I can definitely recap. Uh, and if you want to private message me, I can show you some other small pieces in all of these different varieties. I tried to get a mix of sizes for the show. And for those of you that are watching, if you want to see any more of this Moldavite, I'm happy to show it to you one more time. Otherwise, we are one hour into the show and we have three hours left and I'm going to move on to Ahoite and some other ridiculously crazy things that I have planned for you. Can I see the cut gem? Uh, do you mean the pendant, faceted pendant, or uh, three... 312. This one. Okay. This is 312. This is $100. Comes with a free Moldavite chip. I don't know if you just joined us, but you get one of these for free. Sorry, one of those. Uh, Casey, we, uh, we're only showing what we have out and available right now. The small little chips. I'm sort of giving these away with purchase. Uh, I do have more of this that I can offer, but I would like to do that in direct message. So if you want to send me a direct message, I will message you either after the show tonight or first thing in the morning, and I'm happy to show you small Moldavite. Uh, I don't want to take up a bunch more time showing all the little pieces, um, but I am happy to show you any of that stuff. So the Stranded Stone, this is 312 is the number. This is 100 bucks. And it comes with a free Moldavite chip. And that is a really awesome price for a nice faceted Moldavite. So if there's anybody else that's just joining us and you see something that you want to see more of, I know a lot of people come in and out. And so it's hard to catch everything. That's why I like to do recaps and sort of give you an idea of what all there is. We got some pendants there's a couple of uh, cabochons here that are loose ready for jewelry uh, there's a couple of b-grade moldavites there at a lower price and there's three or four different styles of pendant uh, i'm just gonna have to show the pickle again because the color on the pickle is crazy it's nice and bent i think that's one of my favorite pieces. I love them all, but uh, my wife likes it, so be careful. She'll probably buy it at the end of the show. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so if you want to see anything else, speak up before I move on to Aho White. Going once, going twice. We can always come back to it. I'm going to slide it over. Thank you guys, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Sam, we appreciate you being here and everyone else who made claims and participated in my shenanigans. And if it wasn't for you guys, this wouldn't be fun and we wouldn't want to do this. So, thanks for being here. Let me get my next sheet out here. All right, I'm going to show you some really nice Ajo right now and some other uh, really cool stones. Uh, I just do this is Lecatellierite. Lecatellierite. Hey! All right, that's it from Old White. Okay, Ahoite, Ajoite. Some people will say Ajoite. Um, Ahoite, the type locality, which means where it comes from is Ajo, Arizona, A-J-O. It means garlic in Spanish. It means shit. In Japanese, I'm not joking. The first time I took it to Japan, they were like, why are you calling it shit stone? And I was like, I don't know. I, just, I don't know your language, but uh, it's really awesome and you love it, so you should buy it. <laughs> Aaron Schmarin, thank you. We really appreciate you being here. Um, we have been behind the scenes on our Etsy shop, working really hard on the Etsy shop uh, without having our face being public for a reason. Uh, it's not necessarily that I'm shy, but we have a lot going on. I'm busy sourcing all over the world all the time. My phone is constantly blowing up 
with phone calls and texts from every continent every single day from six in the morning until like 10 in the morning. And then again, from six in the evening until 10 PM, because I'm doing a lot of business in Africa and China, Indonesia, Pakistan, India, a little bit in Europe, South America. Uh, so we've been really busy and it took us a lot to get this live show situation going. We had to totally give up our bedroom. <laughs> We had a 600 square foot bedroom and we had a 200 square foot office and it was totally dysfunctional for business. <laughs> and it, we moved like 6,000 pounds of rocks and metal shelving up a flight of stairs in like three days so that we could have enough space to do live shows. And now we have this awesome space and this little tiny bedroom <laughs> which is totally fine because all we do is sleep there. And now I have an office and we've got room to work and we can do live shows with you. So this is Ahoite. Uh, Ahoite, if you're not familiar, is a copper silicate that is very rare. It is only found in quartz crystals in South Africa. And it is found in massive quartz in Ajo, Arizona. Um, but I've never seen a terminated crystal from Ajo, Arizona. And it's not nearly as nice quality from Ajo, Arizona. I'm sure there's some good stuff out there that I haven't seen. Uh, so I can't proclaim to know everything. But I have a very extensive experience in Messina, which is on the border of Zimbabwe. I've been there five times, four times. I can't remember now. I almost got stranded there, ran out of gas in the middle of nowhere. That was really scary. That, is, that was a crazy story. That was before cell phones were super popular and I forgot to gas. I missed the gas station on the way out of town and I was driving all the way back to Joburg. And I like was like, uh, where's the gas station that I'm supposed to gas up at? And I totally missed it. And I'm like an hour outside of Messina and I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to run out of gas. I'm in South Africa and it's not very safe. <laughs> And it's getting dark and my phone is actually, I didn't have a phone charger with me and my phone was low on battery and I was really scared. I was like, shit, what am I going to do? If I run out of gas, this could be a very serious problem. Um, I guess let me show this and move on. So this is six fifty seven. It is $80, has a tiny yellow heart. Oh my God. Yeah, look at that tiny yellow heart that's so cool so the yellow is limonite and all of this um, black is hematite and it's growing in a circle which is kind of cool and that one is eighty dollars it's got a little bit of red hematite down here black is a specular hematite uh, this I think it's sort of green that might be epidote actually and not limonite I'd have to look with a loop to be sure uh, a little bit of ah white there and it <laughs> it is um, about an inch and that is eighty dollars and I put that one down and go back to my story so I was driving out of Messina and I almost ran out of gas and I called my friends and I was like you need to tell me where's the closest gas station because I'm not gonna make it to the next town and if I don't make it then you guys have to come and get me because otherwise I'm in deep shit and so they told me where the next gas station was and I got there and it was a Saturday and at three o'clock on the Saturday they were closed. And I was like, uh, okay, what am I going to do? Any super tinies? Uh, you know, I have a couple bags with like three or four crystals in them that are really tiny. I'll get to those. Gloria, I will get to those. I do have some. Um, most, I don't think I have anything that's I'm offering for less than 75. But I do... I have a couple that are really neat, really neat. And if for some reason you need something really small and a lot less expensive, I can probably show you some after and break up some of these parcels. Uh, anyway, so this is a killer, killer piece. This is on Matrix. Um, I mean, it's quartz. It's got a bunch of limonite epitope, epitope in there. It's got, of course, killer, killer color. And it's got native copper in there. And let's see if I can get it in focus. Zoom back in. There we go. Come on. It doesn't want to focus very good. So really good blue on this one, and native copper in the front face. 
miniature crystal collection like a lot of these are really small if you're talking really really tiny uh, I mean I'll show you like I've like this little tiny bag I've got a couple super teeny tinies I gotta take them out I'll show you I'm trying to sell them as a little group but um, I have some others so we can work it out if for some reason those don't work for you so this one is 150 it's 656 and that is almost a full phantom of Ahoite with native copper yeah, my phone doesn't want to doesn't want to focus very good so let me see if i can get my distance right does that look focused to you guys um yeah a little bit <laughs> anyways all right so that one is super very good color 150 bucks 656 and moving on to the next one. Gloria, this one is about three quarters of an inch. I don't know if you're looking for smaller. Like I said, I do have some really small ones. Um, I wasn't planning on selling them individually, but we can figure something out. So there's a nice little, thank you, Pretty Rocks. Good focus, cool. So this is a nice little, uh, very alive little bubble of white in there. You can see it reflecting in three different planes, or three different of the terminal faces there it's a super cool feature it's only one but you get this optical play where you can see three one three one three all right that's enough of that uh, this is some epidote here on the side a little bit of hematite in the bottom uh, it's got a little wilbur right there uh, that's a mineral term um, you probably if you don't if you weren't in the mineral scene you would know what a wilbur is it just means a tiny little little bit of damage not a lot that one's 75 655 is the skew uh, anyway so i got to this other gas station and it was closed it's three o'clock on saturday and i was like okay now i'm gonna be in trouble what am i gonna do so i called my friends again and again my phone was almost out of battery um yellow topaz Mellow Topaz, sorry. 655 for 75. I've got your claim there, Mellow Topaz. Thank you very much. That's that one there. Mellow Yellow, Yellow Mellow, Mellow Topaz. Sorry, I'm not going to butcher your name anymore. Um, uh, Gloria, this one is amazing and it's really small. I don't know if you have a price point you're looking for. Um, this one is a little bit ex a little bit expensive for its size, but it's totally clear and has tons of luster and it's got killer killer color. And this red here is pimentite, P I E M O N T I T E. It is a pseudomorph or a very similar mineral to epidote. Uh, yeah, this one's amazing. Pretty pretty rocks, shiny metal, super super cool. Uh, I wish I had a billion of these <laughs> and maybe one day that one's 150 654 and it is about this size really nice piece could probably go in a piece of jewelry um it's not totally flat on the back um but it, you know somebody will do something really amazing with that or it'll be just a perfect little collection piece so that's probably the jammiest most colorful piece in that size range that I have. And I'm going to put this back here. Back to the story. So I called my friends and they told me about this other gas station that was 10 kilometers out of the way. And I only had like, I, I, I was already on E and I was like, thank goodness that they use the metric system and not miles because 10 kilometers is only six miles. And I had six miles to go out of the direction that I needed to go in order to get gas. And I was practically running on fumes. And I was, of course, at that point, I like to drive fast, but I was definitely driving like 55 miles an hour because I was like, I'm going to conserve gas and I'm going to be in the lowest gear possible or the highest gear possible so that I'm not like running at high RPMs and I made it to the gas station and I was very, very, very relieved. Um, my phone ended up dying on me, but at that point, this was back in 2009. This was before smartphones. I didn't have a smartphone. I had a flip phone. 
and I wasn't using GPS. I actually, I knew the directions by heart because I had already done it plenty of times. So uh, driving from uh, Joburg to Messina by memory was something I had already done. I have a really, really good sense of direction. Um, I actually figured out how to get to my friend's house in Prague like five years after I had been there without a map. We were like, my wife was like, what the hell are you doing? Why don't you like try to figure out where you're going and use a map? And I was like, nope. We're going to get there. I'm not, I don't need a map. And we drove around and we got there and I didn't even need a map. Mm -hmm. uh, so same deal. Like I didn't, uh, I didn't need a map going back to Pretoria area and I got really lucky. Thanks, Fancher Minerals. Good to see you, buddy. This one is 90 bucks. 653 is the skew. So yeah, that was a really scary trip. I definitely put myself in a position where I could have been in serious trouble because South Africa is not a safe place. And I had a lot of minerals in the car. Oh man, I had a papagoite. I had a 25 kilo rock that was huge. There was this giant rock, like as big as the front seat that I had in the floorboard. It was 20 kilos, but it only had a little crystal on it like this mm -hmm. that I wanted to keep. The rest of it was junk, but I had to take the whole thing because I didn't have a way to break it off. And I wanted to, to saw it off because there was a couple of other little areas on the stone that were really important. And so I had this giant boulder in the front seat and they, they probably didn't know what it was, but I'm sitting here like, oh my God, I'm going to run out of gas on the side of the road in South Africa with like a ton of minerals in the front seat and I'm going to be in deep shit, <laughs> but it worked out great. Um, I have, um, higher dimensional entities looking over me all the time. And I definitely have guides and spirits that help, uh, facilitate my mineral experience and my safety. And so God was watching and the spirits that helped me were like, you're not going to get stuck. We're just going to scare the shit out of you. <laughs> so that you can learn the lesson of don't miss the gas station on the way out of town and make sure your phone's charged. And I learned that lesson. So this is a papagoite. Uh, this is a papagoite and ahoite are brother and sister. Um, ahoite is more of a heart and throat chakra mineral and is more of a love stone. And papagoite is a third eye mineral and is more of a visionary stone. And they work really well in tandem with each other. And this is like the father, Papa Goite. And it's actually named after the Papago Indians in Arizona. And that's where it gets its name. Uh, is this one a DT? I gotta look with my eyes. No, it's not a DT, but it's got this really awesome hematite. Uh, when you're looking for Papa Goite, you look for where the epidote and the hematite intersect in the geology on the ground. And that's where you find the Papa Goite, is where the green and the, the green epidote and the bluish copper minerals and the darker colored blackish and red hematite, when you can see those three together, that's where you find the papagoite. Uh, that's pretty cool. So this is mainly papagoite. There's a little bit here. There's some in here. There's some up in here. And this yellow is limonite. Let me get it nice and close here. Surely this is why the camera wasn't going to, or the screen wasn't going to work in the back. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. So this is, oh, look at this druzy here. I didn't even see that until I zoomed in. I can't even really see that very well with my eyes, but you get this nice camera and thanks iPhone. Super. Yeah. All right. So this is a killer. Let me zoom back out a little so it doesn't look crazy. So this is Papagoite 652. This is $130. This is the only Papagoite that I have to offer tonight. And again, if you do make a claim, make sure that I repeat it. If I don't repeat it, it has been shadow banned. And please state it again. And we will make sure that we get your claim for you. All right, next up, after I scared the shit out of myself, on my trip, I went to my friend Paul's house in Centurion, and I had this giant 20 kilo boulder in the front seat of my car. And I was like, hey, Paul, can you cut this for me? And he's like, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you just leave this there? This is a boldagon. This is just a big piece of shit boulder with a tiny little blue. Why didn't you just break the blue off? And I was like, man, you got to cut it open for me. Come on, get your saw out. 
and we cut off enough of it to put it on a plane and get it home without having to pay an extra like couple hundred bucks just for the piece of junk rock that we didn't need and I got it home and I took that rock apart and I found all kinds of little crystals on the inside and one of them I kept in my collection the reason I kept it is that it's this little flower of papagoid that kind of comes up like this and goes like this and like this and I'll show it to you I'll show it to you one day um, one of these days the last time I, we did a video I took a little moment to uh, show some of my collection uh, which was a really cool thing to do and maybe we'll do that tonight maybe I'll show a couple pieces that aren't for sale we have a pretty ridiculous collection uh, we've been collecting for 20 years uh, we'll probably publish a book someday I have a very good cross-section of most of the important quartz inclusions that have come out of the ground all over the world since 2001 and I definitely don't have them all but I have some really good ones and it's a really nice cross-section of history of about two decades so this is 651 this is 95 dollars. this is a really clear crystal it's got a nice partial phantom in it it's got some hematite and some epidote or limonite on the back yeah big lessons are the best rewards i can tell you that my best teachers where my biggest losses and the biggest mistakes that I ever made in this industry and in this business were what taught me the most, um, including getting scammed buying gold and losing a lot of money. <laughs> that sucked. But I learned how to protect my money and to not be foolish and to recognize um, how to spot scams. And I've saved a lot of people. Since then, being like, that's a scam, don't do that, or you're going to lose your money. So this is a little group. Uh, Gloria, this is one of the ones I was talking about. This is $80 for this group. It is $650 is the SKU. And like I said, Gloria, if you just want one little piece, I can probably help you, but we're going to sell. This is a group, and I can show you something afterwards or tomorrow morning or something. Daniel, 650, good claim for 80 bucks. Nice to see you, my friend. Welcome back. So, Daniel, I got you down for L650, 80 bucks. Thank you much. And we're gonna show this one. This is the only cluster that I have tonight. It's got a little bit of incomplete here, a little bit here, but it's got one, two, three, four. Cool. Gloria, I can help you after the show. I do have some little itty bitty ones. The other ones that I have to show uh, are in groups. So this is a cluster. You can see this is a... Uh, a little grouping here that's complete. It's also complete on the bottom. Mm, where's my light here? You can see all this is growth. This is considered a floater. Um, yeah, so I'm not catching the light right, but all of this is crystalline. That's, I think, am I seeing that right? Uh, maybe not, actually. Oh, okay, no, I don't think I'm right on that. Maybe maybe that part is where it was attached. Uh, anyways, it's just it's still a really nice little cluster. It's very aesthetic if you hold it in this direction here. And it's got this nice little thing in the front. All this nice crystal growth. And this is 225 L648. So the way that this stuff grows when we got into the pocket of this material is it all grows in kind of like a puzzle it's all like interlocked like this it's like all grouped together and you we're using water and you spray a little area and you get the dirt out and the dirt comes and then you can like get a crystal and you just shake it loose like this and then it kind of like comes out like this and you got to go really slow if you pull too hard you'll break pieces of it because it's all intergrown and interlocked like this puzzle and so the water loosens up the dirt and when the dirt gets loosened, then the crystals kind of loosen and you can take them out without damaging them. It's really kind of cool. It's not 
and how a lot of crystals grow in other areas, they grow in different ways. So let me get this one oriented here. Uh, it's like this. This is the termination. This is like a, just a piece of quartz on the side. It's, it's sort of amorphous. There's nothing going on there, but there's nice color here. And there's some nice green epidote inside and some hematite. Uh, I didn't dig these pretty rocks, but I did. I did get a chance to dig some. I uh, didn't find a lot of blue, but I found. I got into a pocket of a whole lot of pimentite and epidote, and they called it Rusty's Pocket because we found thousands of tiny little crystals, and I literally was just in heaven, sitting there on the on my back all day long in like 110 degrees, uh, mining these little crystals. And we did find some blue, but the pocket that I was in, there wasn't a lot of blue. Uh, so what I really like about this piece, this is the termination, and I don't know what's going on right here. Like, this is a very strange face. Like, it's not normal for quartz to do this. Like, it's definitely normal to have terminal faces, like here and here and then here, but this is, like, kind of melted. And you can see that this line is kind of soft right there in the middle. And so that's not very typical of quartz in general. And this line is kind of bent. Um doesn't surprise me that this kind of stuff happens in Messina because Messina does all kinds of weird stuff. And there's some green epidote in here. And this I think is also hematite, but this might be another copper mineral. That might be calcotrichite. I'd have to look with a loop. And this is a really cool piece. It's got a decent bit of color. And it's got that really cool face. And that one is 200. Six four seven, and let me show you the size here. That is a miniature, about three centimeters, maybe three and a half centimeters, inch and a half for you non-metric people. <laughs> okay, so we've got those so far. And we've got a couple of good stories. Next up, we have um, this one here. This one is a nice single crystal on the ahoite is sort of on the outside. It's in the quartz, but it's up to the surface on the bottom, which is not as typical, most of them, the phantom grows in the top of the crystal, and sometimes there's a little bit of stuff on the sides. And you can see that it is fibrous and has little hairs. Let's see, we get a good video there. I'm really glad we have a good connection. And you guys can see all of that. And no, I'm probably a little too close for it to not be blurry, but that's pretty good for an iPhone to be able to get that close on a live video. And we have a really good internet connection here. I ran internet all the way down the street and paid a fortune to have a business line. And we have a terabyte up download speed, which is great. Uh, upload is, of course, a lot slower, but this is a nice hematite phantom in the top. Um, yeah, it's pretty clean, it's good. I see a lot of people who don't have nearly the same connection um, and I am running on Wi-Fi, which is good. I'm not I'm not hardwired on my phone. Uh, speaking of which, I need to plug my phone in because we're gonna hold on a second. All right, there we go. Make sure we don't run out of juice. All right, so this is a really clean crystal. It's got very nice ahoite spray in the bottom, a nice hematite phantom, a little bit of epidote on the back, and this one is 646. Is the skew? It's one hundred and ten dollars. Don't run out of gas. I know, right? <laughs> totally get that. Yeah, what a story, man! That was crazy. I'm so glad I didn't screw that one up. Me too. All right. Yeah, don't run out of juice on my phone either. That would be not quite as bad, but definitely not good. All right, so this is another little group 
This one's 130. It is four pieces. Um, and let's see here. So these four pieces as a group for 130 bucks. There's a little bit of ahoite and hematite in there. This is good for jewelry. Again, the skew is 649, 130. Here's another one. So there's those two and these two. Nice little jammy jammers. It's a little group. So that that little group is one thirty. Next rock, mineral. The next mineral is quartz. Quartz is really rare. Comes from everywhere, but it's still really rare. Uh, Ahoite is a copper silicate that is actually really rare. It's very, very similar to chrysocolla and shatokite and a lot of the other uh, co more common copper silicates are very similar in chemistry. But ahoite is one oxygen molecule away, and it has one atom, one molecule of potassium. And that's what makes it a totally different mineral. And that very small little difference is amazing. And it's really special, and it gives it a lot of power and juice that a lot of other minerals in the copper family have similar but this is you know this is like the 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 queen of all copper silicates in my opinion is ahoy this is 75 dollars for this one uh, this one's got all kinds of little tubes going in there probably some kaolinite definitely some hematite uh, a couple different types of hematite a nice little ahoy phantom there in the top and this is the termination here it's about an inch and 75 so one oxygen molecule and one potassium molecule, and that's what differentiates ahoite from chrysocolla. Chrysocolla is extremely common, and that doesn't mean it's not amazing. Chrysocolla can be even more amazing than ahoite at times, especially the really good gem silica. It absolutely blows my mind. Um, but chrysocolla is very common, and it's also... Um, really brittle. Ahoite is, uh, usually grows in quartz most of the time, and when it doesn't, um, it's probably also really brittle. It's almost always fibrous. When you look at it with a loop, it will be little tiny hairs. Uh, so this has some needles of kaolinite, and the black, I believe, is hematite. Uh, there's also some black that is uh, also fibrous, and I'm not sure what that is, but this is hematite. And of course, it's got ahoy. There's at least 27 minerals that have been identified inside of crystals at Messina. And I would be willing to bet there's at least 20 that have not been identified. Whether they're totally new minerals or they're minerals that uh, we know exist that just haven't been identified. Uh, it's one of the most unbelievable quartz deposits in the world for inclusions. And I have a very special relationship with this area and with this mine and with the spirits of this mine. This stuff talks to me and comes to my dreams very often. And yeah, ever since I found out what it was back in 2002, it's been quite a journey. And I've made many trips to the area since doubly terminated on the bottom. And it's got more kaolinite on the bottom here. And I'm amazed at the quality that I can get on this video. Do I have any tangiite? Uh, tangiite without the N. Um, I don't know if I 
I definitely don't have any to show tonight. Um, do I have any? You know, I don't know if I have any for sale. I have one or two in my collection. I haven't really been... It's not... It's like super, super rare. It's more rare than Aho White by far. Um, uh, if I do find some of that bright green, I will let you know. Melatopaz. Uh, it's definitely not common. And it's, sometimes it's hard to identify. It gets mixed up with chromite sometimes. Anyways, this one, I butchered it. That says 75. That's 644. And it's about 7 eighths of an inch. A little over 2 centimeters. You got something for me? Yeah. Cold? Yeah. Okay. That, oh wait, no. That was all the natural Aho White. Now I have a couple of polished pieces here. Uh, another that one? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So Ahoy also does this, and it gets more saturated. A lot of times it has to be polished because it's underneath like a quarter inch of crust. This is exceptional for jewelry and lapidary. Um, I cut all of these so that... The base was flat, so this can be bezel set very easily. And this would make a killer, killer pendant. Really special material. Um, I got really lucky and I bought a cluster that I couldn't really see inside of. And it turned out that a lot of the points ended up having this amount of color in it. And you just can't see the color until you polish it. So it was quite a process taking apart this cluster. I had to send it to one person to take a pot, take off the base with a 24 inch saw because the base was like almost a foot thick and I couldn't get it off with any device or hammer or anything. So I cut the base off first and then I took it to my cutter and he's like, it's still too thick. You need to do something with it. And so I'm doing, I have a grading project going out in my yard right now. We're building another warehouse. And so I had my grader who's, uh, he had this giant rock saw, like a handheld saw uh, that he was cutting a rock out of the yard because it was this rock that the, the machines couldn't get out. So we had to cut it up with, a, with a, ham, uh, a saw. So he had his water driven saw handheld and I had him score the base. And then I took a, chisel and a hammer and took the base apart and split it up into smaller pieces and then we could get it into a trim saw so that we could take the points off and isolate all the color and then we could start polishing so it took me a, over a month just to get the the tips ready to polish I bought that rock in August last year and I didn't have the first finished stones until March or April and this saturation of color is definitely in a different price point I've made hundreds and hundreds of pieces of jewelry out of Ahoy and they all sell in every price range and even even six figures we sold a, a crazy necklace uh, to a very special collector uh, this is Ahoite Jans. Ahoite is a very rare copper silicate. It's very similar to Chrysocolla. Uh, this comes inside of quartz from the Messina mining district in South Africa on the border of Zimbabwe. Uh, runs along the Limpopo River. It's a very famous region in Africa. Very, very rich copper deposit. They started mining in 1940. And they were just going after copper and avoiding all the quartz. And the, at the Arts and Villa mine, there was all this amazing quartz that had been pushed up to the surface, which is really rare. This particular piece came off of a cluster that was found over a mile deep in the ground in like shaft 30 something. I mean, I can't even imagine what it's like going a mile underground. I mean, straight down, 5,000 feet. Can you believe this? I don't I wouldn't do that. That's crazy. I mean, I'm, well, maybe I would if I knew it was safe, but. Yeah, I don't know. I would do it just because it's all white, but you know the the risks that these people take and the level of uh, engineering that it takes to get the copper from that deep is just crazy. So this is four hundred fifty dollars at six twenty seven. 
Um, I know it's in a higher price point, um, but this is an investment piece. It is not going to depreciate. Uh, there is a very limited supply of this material, and this level of color saturation is not very prevalent on the market. And it is very desirable. <laughs> Excuse me. So, 450 on that one. Um, again, if you make a claim and I don't repeat your claim, uh, speak it again so that we can defeat this Instagram commenting shadow ban that they've tried to do. So, for those of you just joining us, we've got some other smaller crystals here. And that's a little bit of a recap. I can show this a little bit later again. And by all means, if there's something that you see that you want to see again, speak up and I will show it to you. I got three more Ahoy pieces to show you. And they're all expensive. This is another piece off of that cluster. Uh, this is a longer piece. Perfect, perfect jewelry point. It has been polished. Does that have tangiate in it? Uh, the, f the first one, Floric, is that one. That one's 450. This is the polished one. And then if you want to see the rest of the individuals, I can show you those too. So I'm trying to see if there's just a little bit of... What's this green in here? Is this epidote? I think that's epidote. Okay, it's not tangiite, Melotopez. I, I think you probably, I don't know actually if you want polished anyways. Uh, all the way top left, Flork. Okay, let me put this one down for a second. So, this guy, this one has got a little bit of color there and some hematite. And that one... Eighty dollars six five seven is the skew. It's about an inch. Good, nice jewelry point. It's got a little uh, little epidote heart on the back. And some other. This is another nice one. Nice jewelry. Nice jewelry point there. Very clear quartz. A nice little fiber saw white in the front. That one's 110. It's got a hematite phantom. And there's a little group there for 130. Anyways, back to this point. This is crazy, awesome, amazing piece. Uh, really suitable for jewelry. It's got like little chevron lines here. Uh, would make, make a really nice gold cap. Uh, and this would make somebody really happy to hang that on their neck. And I will be setting some of them at some point. I will put some bezel on some of these and turn them into pendants with gold. Of course, that'll increase the price. Um, this one's 750. And if for some reason you fall in love with these and you're like, oh, I need to make payments, uh, for the ones that are under a thousand, we can take Klarna, we can take Afterpay, we can take Affirm, actually not Klarna, Klarna's with Etsy, uh, but we do have a couple of ways that you can make installments. All right, so here's the big guy that I have to show tonight, and this one also came off that cluster, and this one's just loaded with blue, look at how much blue there is there. It's got nice little bits of hematite. Does that have bow ties? Bow ties? Like the Ahoy itself? Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely got sprays. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this one has bow ties, but sometimes it, the sprays do grow in bow tie form, which is just crazy. Uh, really nice sprays in this one. I wish I could even show you closer. Maybe I'll figure out a way someday to put... I have a little, um, like, extra zoom I can put on my camera. I don't know if it'll work great with Instagram. Um, but I can probably even put a loop on that. 
and try to good, find a good distance there. So this is a nice hematite line. It's very typical for hematite to grow across the crystal. It's just super, super saturated, flat on the base. This is not, as, it's too big for jewelry. It's, you know, it's got a couple of contacts here. Yeah, Zach, these polished pieces are crazy. They were, I, it all came off of one cluster and I, I got really lucky because you couldn't see all the color. And when we polished them, it was just like, oh yeah, buddy. Every time I cut, my cutter came back with some, I was just like, yes, that was a win. Um, so let's show you the size of this one. So this is a couple inches, super saturated. And this one is $1,500, $629 is the skew. And again, I can work with you on payment plan if you need to, so long as it's very clearly outlined and regularly paid. Okay, last piece of Ahoite. The last pendant that I showed was pretty awesome. This is another pendant that is 14 karat gold and brushed silver on the back. Prong set. This was set in Indonesia. It's got nice color up in the front. It is fibrous. You can see the little hairs. It's got good hematite. Nicely done. And there's the little brush on the back side. You can see the back. It's got a fixed bail. Gold and silver combo. This one is 800. All right, that is all the Ahoite that I have to show you tonight. Uh, if there's something specific that we talked about that you wanted to see, like Gloria, if you wanted to see a little tiny piece, I can show you something probably tomorrow. So I'll do a quick recap and then we'll move on to some other really awesome stuff that I have for you. So this is about an inch, a little bit of color. That one's 80. And this Papagoite, I told a really nice little story for those of you that missed it. Uh, that one's 130. Super, super, super point. Really nice hematite phantom. It's got a little jersey in the front here. And then there's this one. This is 110. It's got really nice off white spray, uh, little feathers in the front. It's also a nice <coughs> jewelry point. <laughs> Sorry about that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Going out with a bang. Uh, this one is 150. This is like a little matrix piece. Probably one of the more saturated pieces in that isn't polished that I have to show tonight. That's 150. And this one is 95. Where'd Shirley go? She went home. Oh, I understand. Cool. That one's 95. And this one, this is a really special piece. This one is 150. And it's super jammy. Super jammy, super glassy, good luster, really nice sprays. Also has good pimentite there. That would make a nice piece of jewelry. And next one. This is a cluster. So quick. 225. 654, Sam. Got you on that one, Sam. That is a, a really, really nice piece. I'm happy that you're still with yeah, us. So beautiful. 
and then that piece. <laughs> awesome, Sam. We got you on that one. All right, so we had this little cluster. It's 225. And we had this little guy. 75. And yeah, this little guy is 90. This one is 200. It's got this weird face on the side here. Seventy-five. Oops. Is there a frog in here? <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? Outside. Outside. Yeah. This pendant is eight hundred. Gold and silver combo. Uh, this little group here. Let me see if I can just zoom in. This group is one thirty, four pieces. And I can show little little bits of auto white in there. And then we've got this polish piece, four fifty. This one, 750. This one's 1500. And that's going to do it for Ahoy for tonight. It will be off to the side if you want to see it again, or if somebody joins us later, I'm happy to show it again. If there's anything else that y'all want to see while I've got it out, I'm happy to show it again. Otherwise, it's going to go off to the left. Next up, we have some really nice opals to show you. Nicole, I'm probably need some more paper at some point after this next batch. All right, so Ethiopian opals. Got a couple of really good ones to show you. These are like the super, super select ones I pulled. This is the, the best ones that I liked out of the new batch that I just got in. Opal is our best selling product. We sell like five kilos a month or more, maybe. I don't even know at this point. Probably more. Um, mainly rough. We also have a bunch of jewelry. Uh, opals are never going to show up as well on the camera as you see them in, with your eyes. And so they're actually better in person. You can still see that they're really good. Uh, but you will experience an even better flash when you see them in person. So this is one of my favorite flashy pieces with a blue base from the last batch. That one's eighty-five dollars. Six thirty-eight is the skew. That's five and a quarter grams. Uh, this one, this is called Striped. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, is it going to show the stripes? Yeah, this camera, 
iPhone cameras are great, but they're not super for opals. And so you see this line right here, how it's like a block. This is called striped opal. And let me see, you can kind of see the stripes. It's just how they block out. Uh, there's in patterns. This is more striped in person. There's a lot of stripes that run this way that I'm having a hard time getting the camera to pick up. But you can see this like white line that isn't flashing right now, but it's segmented in little rectangles. And that's called a striped variety of Ethiopian opal. Let me show you the other side. Really nice specimen. Obviously lots of fire, lots of flash. Definitely way better in person. A lot more life. The camera picks it up okay, but you will be very surprised when you get it in person. <laughs> I didn't price that one. Yay, that was really smart. Okay, let me think, let me think about that for a second. Uh, that one's 70. Seventy. Super awesome piece. Definitely one of the best pieces in the last batch that we got. We're getting opal batches every month. Here, this is called pinfire. It's a type of opal. Obviously, the little dots uh, they call this pinfire. So there's like a regular flash. And then when the opal does patterns, they call it different things. So this is pinfire. The last one was stripes. There's also honeycomb. Yeah, I don't have any honeycombs to show tonight, but this pinfire is really cool. So you can see why they call it pinfire. This one is a blue base colored opal. And it's got the pin fire flash and the details on this one. It's $80, 642. Next up. We've got this really awesome brown opal. This is like the flashiest brown opal I've ever seen. Like you see all the color going on in there. Whoa, man, look at that. Oh my God, that's the best opal I've ever seen. All right, just kidding. <laughs> um, obviously lots of flash on the proper side to show it. A little bit of dendritic stuff going on in here. Every color of the rainbow going on in here. There's orange. This orange is not as, co not as common. I don't see orange as much. And it's a little more orange to my eyes than it is on the screen. And, and I've said it three times already, these opals will be much nicer in person. Move them. They're much nicer in person. The camera only picks them up partially. Every color of the rainbow here. That's what the size is like. There's the really pretty brown part. <laughs> Just kidding about that. This one is $70, 640. And one in the next opal I have. fires up mm. it's like wow. it's like flames good looking stuff six thirty nine $90. Okay. 
And this is the last up on this group. I think there's some in another box, but I don't know if we're going to have time for that or not. So this is another pin fire. Uh, this has like what they like to call an egg. Uh, there's these like milky egg looking clouds inside of some of the middle of some of these opals. This one's a little different than the other types of egg. Um, I'll show some like water opals possibly in the future where you can see the egg better. This is a pin fire piece. Uh, it's got good surface area. And this one is $65. 643. So that's all the opal that I have in this box. I do have some that was prepared a little while ago for another show that we didn't have a lot of traffic on with Thursday, and I will possibly show some of that again. Um, but I'm going to move on. Um, oh, I really need... Can you go get me the... Um, the black shungite square on my desk. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm moving on to covalite. Covalite in quartz is, can I see the 70 again? Yes, I can show you that again. Uh, there was two, I'll show both of them. Just lay it down somewhere. This is one of the 70s, uh, that's number 640. And the striped is that one. And again, the stripes are really not showing up very well on the camera. Those are the two at 70, Gloria. So if you want one of those, let me know the, the SKU, 640 or 641. I'd be happy to set that aside for you. Okay, covalite in quartz is one of the holy grails. All right, Gloria, I got you at 641. Luz Gloria. Muchas gracias. At 641. Okay, moving on to covalite. Feel free to interrupt me if you want to go back to Opals at any time. I'm happy to go back and show you some more. If you want to see Ahoite again and all that good stuff. Thank you, Gloria. We appreciate you. All right. So I don't know whether to show you the crazy piece first or to show you. Well, they're all really good, but they're... I'll show you some affordable, well, quote unquote, affordable pieces first. So Covalite and Quartz is one of the holy grails of quartz inclusions. Covalite is a copper sulfate and it only grows in quartz in one location. Well, there's actually a second location, but it isn't, it isn't really prolific. Um, but this one location in Brazil in Espiritu Santo, it's actually a national forest and they can't dig it again. And I guess it was legal to dig in 2005. They dug it up and they can never go back to dig it again because it's in a protected area and they got a lot of material out but they sold a bunch of it back in 2005 and the person who owns the mine is very elus elusive and will only sell cut stones and will not sell rough and will not sell anything but small amounts uh sam 641 i did not gloria can have it i appreciate you Thank you for that. I'm sorry that I didn't see your claim. Um, dang you, Instagram. But it's okay. Sam was first on your feed. Yeah, I appreciate it, Pretty Rocks. Um, I'm going to let Gloria have it. Um, and I hope that's okay. Appreciate you, Sam. Thanks for being a good sport. This whole Instagram shadow banning thing is really lame. Um, anyways, back to Covalite. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I can get really good show on this. 
I'm gonna have to zoom in. So Covalite is a pink, they call it pink fire. And you can see what's going on here. It is a super crazy elusive mineral. Like you can't, like you can't see the inclusion. Those black dots are not covalite. That's actually hematite. The covalite is invisible until you hit it on at the right angle, and then it shows. And so you kind of have to play with it and figure out. You know, sometimes it takes a little while. So these are all really high quality pieces that show the covalite really well on the front face. And that's one of the things that you look for. Uh, like I said, it only comes from one place and the mine owner is really difficult and really elusive and he's hard to find and hard to deal with. But he has one of the holy grails of mineral inclusions or quartz inclusions. So this little piece is a square and it's got really good flash, really good fire. This one is 200. 632. And I was like three years ago, three or four years ago, uh, you know, I was like, you know, I don't have a good covalite in quartz and Rutile and corundum, but better. Yeah, it's a different color. It flashes different. It's um, it's definitely more rare than than rutile and corundum, titanium dioxide. Uh, it's super cool. Only comes from one place. Very hard to get. I didn't have any in my collection. I was like, you know what? I need cobalite and quartz. And I told one of my friends in Brazil, I was like, he's an inclusion guy. And I was like, you need to get me a good cobalite and quartz. And he was like, okay, I'll go find it for you. And I was like, I just want one really good one. And he was like, well, you can have the whole supply. <laughs> Do you want the whole supply? And I was like, yeah, sure. Why not? And it's a finite supply, but the guy who has it, he cuts a little bit every year and he releases it like once or twice a year. And I buy everything. Or at least I buy all the good stuff. My friend picks out all the really nice flashy ones. And I bought three or four partials from him. And it always sells. Every time I post it on Instagram, it goes crazy. Because it's just so cool. Because, I mean, look at it. It's, it's ridiculous. It's okay. such a cool mineral. Such a cool inclusion. Here's the next one. So that first one was 200. That one was almost 5 carats. Uh, this little guy is a smaller piece. You have to get the light on it just right. And wow, look at that. See, it's hard to see. And then boom, 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 boom. And oh. it kind of rolls across, you know, you can make circles with it. Oh. You know, not all of it does that, but the really good stuff shows across the whole thing. The first one was 632 was the skew, Pretty Rocks, $200. And so I have the majority of the material that's available for sale that ever comes out comes through my hands right now. Um, by all means, there are other dealers with it. A lot of them got it back in 2005. And there was a, there was a parcel that I passed on not too long ago because I just had too much and the timing wasn't very good. Um, but amazing, amazing material, super high quality, very, very powerful stuff. Um, I don't know why, but the Koreans are bonkers for this material and they buy the majority of my small ones. And every time I list them, they're just like, I want it, I want it, I want it. I've sold the majority of these small ones go to Korea. I don't really know why Korea and not Japan or China you know, the Japanese like them, and the Chinese sort of know about them, but the Koreans just are bonkers for these things, and I don't really know why. But they're, you know, they're always really nice to deal with. And so I have, this is from a fresh batch that just came in. Really nice little piece. Um, it's very tricky to get them to shine right, but I have a lot of experience doing it. This one's 115 dollars it is 637 uh, and every time i list these they sell very easily they are definitely finite in quality in quantity sorry definitely not going to be mined again because it's on nationally protected land in espirito santo brazil 
Do I have rough? No, nobody can get rough. They will not sell rough. I have gotten a piece of rough every once in a while in the past that came from old vines when they did release rough back in like 2005. Uh, usually I cut it. The rough is ugly. Um, it's just not that pretty. I did have a piece that eh, it was arguable that it was pretty, but I ended up cutting beads out of it because the market for that is incredible and the specimen wasn't very pretty and the beads were worth literally 10 times the price of the specimen. And that's just the way it goes sometimes with with stones. A lot of the best material, like in tourmaline, for example, the, some of the best crystals get cut because it's worth more as a cut stone. So it's just kind of how it goes. I don't always butcher stuff. If it's really an amazing specimen, I'm not going to cut it. Um, but the rough is kind of ugly. I mean, it's just kind of beat up and it, it's celestial, but it's like really got this thick matrix and it's just not very pretty. The The inclusion is pretty, but the, the aesthetics of the actual specimens, it's not like alligator quartz or the jacare stuff where it's just like oh my god and it, ha it it's a similar type growth as the alligator quartz but it just isn't very attractive yeah to cut your own i i get that question all the time i i wish i could get rough but the guy won't sell rough he cuts it and he sells cabochons he showed me one piece of rough and i was like and he was offering it to me and it was the most unbelievable thing I'd ever seen. But he wanted literally like $250,000 for one piece. And I was like, you're completely out of your mind. <laughs> it was definitely not worth anywhere near that. I would have kept it anyways. So uh -huh. if, yeah, I mean, if it was anywhere reasonable, it would have gone directly in my collection. But I'm definitely not going to buy a $250,000 piece of rough that is not worth it. But it was amazing. Um yeah, I don't know about smart. He doesn't really understand. It's kind of just like, it was a price where it's like, oh, I need money. I don't really want to sell it. But, you know, it was a fishing price. It's typical for country of origin type uh, miners and people. They're just like, oh, I don't want to sell it. But, you know, maybe there's some f joker out there who'll pay it. And that person isn't me. And, I, you know, I, I have plenty of good clients who have the ability to buy really expensive rocks. But this one was completely out of the ballpark for what it was anyways i've been talking a lot and not showing prices so that's another one that one's a hundred bucks uh 636 really high quality cobalite pink fire i have one that's coming up that is one of the most unique ones that i've ever seen and well, i almost wanted to keep it but i have kept plenty and i was gonna off i'm gonna offer it uh, this not this one but yeah market control it's definitely not just that but he can't go mine it again you know if he could go mine it it would be different but it's a protected area so it wasn't pro as protected or i don't really know the history of why he was able to mine it um but but he can't mine it now so he's on the last bit of what he's got to cut too so he tries to raise the price every time as well it's just kind of how it goes. So this one dances in a circle. Do, 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 Dancing pink fire covalite. Awesome, awesome piece. Uh, this is also not flat on the back. Most of them, they cut flat on the back. And this one is a hundred bucks six thirty five that's a pretty rock yeah that is a pretty rock it would go really good in shiny metal pretty mm -hmm. rocks and shiny metal <laughs> <laughs> all right and there's this one this is a little bit bigger I got a big fingerprint on this. So. Always tricky showing these things. They're small and it's hard to hold. But you got to get the angles just right. And then you got to deal with the glare. Obviously, the lights are dancing around it too. Oh, look at that glare. All right. Sorry. I'm being goofball. But that is really cool, actually. 
Mm-hmm. How the lights are like. Mm-hmm. Doo, doo, doo. All right, the dad doesn't show the clover light, Rusty. Come on, get to the point. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it's really clear quartz. And the clover light there, you can see. Yeah, it does show the cut well. It's definitely a challenge to get these to light up, especially when they're not perfectly centered because this stuff grows in planes. So if you cut it even a little bit off center, it's like, mm, it's really hard to see. And sometimes I have a hard time finding it. So I have a tremendous amount of experience showing these in videos and I know exactly how to get them to light up. So if you purchase one of these and you're like, where's the color? Like take a little bit of time, it takes a little bit of time to orient it. And notice how slowly I'm moving it. Like I'm not, you know, you move it around like this, you're not gonna see it. it. Takes a while to get used to that. So this one's a little bit larger and it's a little bit cleaner. That one is 175. All right, I got one more to show you. I do have plenty of these. Um, I don't have, a lot of them get bigger, like these are some of the small ones. I do have some other small ones, but a lot of the other sizes are significantly larger and of course significantly more expensive than this. I have a lot in the 250 range, a lot in the 400 range, 600 range. They make crazy, crazy pieces of jewelry. All right, so this one is super special. If you don't buy this, I'm putting it in my collection. And... The reason is because of the rainbow, and this was such a cool phenomenon. I've actually not seen another one like it. So it's got the covalite, and then you can see the rainbow that dances on the back also. Let me get my hands out of the way. It's always good to show it on a black background. And again, the light kind of, well, you know what? Actually, I have my light. I haven't shown it off well, so let me turn this light down a little bit usually it washes out the color so when you see it in person it'll be a little bit better so you can see the rainbow there and then here's the covalite so it's covalite and rainbow covalite rainbow and I think it even shows it better this way if I remember correctly covalite oh, I went and got fingerprints on it Covalite and rainbow. Good to see you, Charlene. I know you've been commenting a bunch. I should have said something. I'm glad you're here. I hope you got your parcel. Uh, Covalite and rainbows. Yep, that one's super, super cool. That one's 180, 634. It's the only one like it I have. All right. Hello, hello. Now I'm going to show you something that's going to completely blow your mind. And it's expensive. Go figure. Uh, awesome. Glad you received it. Thank you for your assistance. If anybody needs any astrological readings done, I suggest you contact Charlene who's commenting. She's an amazing astrological reader and is very intuitive and has lots of skill in helping to assist in the unseen in that regards. So this is a carving done by Dalen Hargrave, who's a very famous carver. And of course, it's got covalite. This is a large stone. This is... is very thick and it's got this space theme it's kind of cool how that ring around the Saturn thing kind of moves there you see that yeah this is super piece I th- so I think it's a little bit little bit smoky mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Planets, right? (laughs) (laughs) 
yeah, super, super space themed. Dalen Hargrave carving. It took me three years to get him to carve it, but it was worth the wait. Super cool. And this one, I'm scared to tell you, is 2000. I had 2500 on it. I didn't mark up the work very much. The piece itself without the carving is close to that value. I only marked up the, the carving itself just a little bit, basically. The cost of the carving is added to the weight of the stone. And I do have a couple other bigger ones than this in a very similar type with the planetary carvings. I've got three of them actually, but this is the small one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a mine. That's the, the Covalite mind blower for the night. I mean, the rainbow one's really cool too, but this is a showstopper. And Dale and Hargrave is famous and all of his work sells and I think his work will appreciate because he has a very well-known reputation. He has um, taught quite a number of people how to do many, many things with stone and other types of work. And uh, yeah, Dalen is super famous. I'm very grateful for him and for his wife. Smithsonian awarded, yes, he is top notch. He's an amazing person, really nice to deal with, and he's a super nice guy, very humble, very tall. I don't know how he has such precision with his fingers because his fingers are probably twice the size of mine, but the guy is incredible. So there you have it. My Dale and Hargrave Intaglio reverse carved Covalite masterpiece. And that one is two six six two six two thousand. And we can work a payment plan on that one if that's something that you can't live without. All right. A little recap. We've got a couple of Wheel of Opals here that are really nice. That one's 90. This one's super flashy. This one's 85. A nice blue base. This one is a pinfire type with an egg. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Charlene. <laughs> pinfire, that one's 80. Yeah, Charlene, if you have to have that piece, send me a message and we can talk about it. That one's 70. Nice Wheelo. And then the little Covalites that I have to show. Aaron Schmarin claimed 642. Bingo. Thank you very much, Aaron Schmarin. That is a amazing pinfire Wheelo Opal. We appreciate you. And recap the Covalites really quickly. Let's see if I can get the flash right. That's 637. It's 115. Super crazy flashy. And this one is... Come on, flash. Let's see. Doing it hastily and quickly Ooh, is not easy and then I like to use this little black background because it's easier to see. Yeah. Sam claim 
639. That would be this Lilo here. Sam, I got you for 639. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Let's see here. So back to the Covalite. Doing this one-handed is really challenging to get it to show. So that one is 175. It's a bigger stone. This one is 200. Nice pink fire. This one is a hundred. Come on. Yeah, getting the fire to show with one hand is a little tricky. And this one is a hundred also. That one is also really good. Pink fire. And there's this one with the rainbow. Which I might have to keep. 640 is not claimed, Aaron Schmarin. Let me put this rainbow down. This one is available. It can be yours. Covalite with the rainbow. All right. Aaron Schmarin, thank you. 640. Add that to your pile. Last, last Covalite with the rainbow. I'm telling you, I've been through a couple thousand pieces of this material. And this one's awesome. Yeah, Opal Kick. I hear you. Opal Fever is legitimate. I was a little skeptical about Opals and Opal Fever, and then I started selling it. And then I, of course, when I sell it, I had to sort it. And sorting it, I started falling in love with it. And then I needed a better quality. And then I was like, oh, Opal Fever. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, you want to see more Opals? I do have some others that I have available that I prepped the other day. Uh, let me, might as well show those. Let me grab those. This was a Thursday night show and nobody was around. So we didn't have a lot of action on those. Okay, so let me put these here. Let's let's do some more opals. So this one is a nice big piece. Got really good flash on two thirds of it. Oh, that was the back side. Well, I don't know. They're both sides are good. And Got good flash, nice color. That one is sixty bucks, five seventeen. This one is also a really big piece. Shows good color in the front, a little bit of color on the side. It's nice and thick. Uh, really good specimens. I probably wouldn't cut some of these. That one's 75. Yeah, every time I get a parcel of opals, I just sit there and sort for hours, and then I resort, and I think I just... Uh, it's Opal fever is legitimate. Like, I just sit there and sort them all day long. One of my friends laughs at me. He's like, you just sort rocks for no reason. All you do is sort. You just sit there and play with them. And I'm like, no, there's a reason. 
every pile has a purpose and that pile goes there and for this reason and this one I do that with and this one I do that with and it's for all the rocks it's not just opals but he always laughs at me because I just sit there and sort rocks all the time it's kind of my favorite thing to do you know it's like there's lots of hard work to do and sometimes sorting can be really hard work but it's probably on my most enjoyable thing So that one is inexpensive. That one's 38. Ooh, there's a stripey. Claim 515 Aaron Schmarin. Awesome, thank you very much. You're killing me. Uh-oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight more. Uh, Sam, she just claimed that one before you. I apologize about that. But Sam, I will give you a heads up. This was this is a striped one. Um, I know that you were kind enough to give that last one to Gloria. This one has very distinct bands here, here, here. That one is 44, 516. Really fair price on that. Probably good for resale. Also good for collecting. And if that one really does it for you, I'll give you, give you first chance on that one since we had a shadow ban last time. All right. Got you on that claim, Sam. 516. Appreciate you. Add me, sir. Why would I do that? Nobody adds anyone on their videos, my friend. That's a really good way for me to block you, is to come on to my video and say, add me, add me. What, am, what are you going to do? You're going to come on and like sell your rocks on my video? <laughs> so that's what I assume you're going to do. So don't ask again. Appreciate you. Here's another one that's got some stripey areas. Covalite has me dead. Talk to you soon. Appreciate you, Charlene. Have a great night. Text me if you want to talk about something or, you know, it doesn't have to be about rocks, but if you need a Covalite, by all means, text me. And if you want to text me, text me. We can talk about anything. <laughs> have a great night. All right, here's another one. This one's 42. That one's got some nice banded areas in it. Stripey. Stripey boy. This is this is one that definitely doesn't show up on the camera nearly as well as it does to my eyes. It's kind of weird how that works. It's, it's nice and flat. It's open on both sides. Well, this would make a really good wire up. And the depth of color, it goes a few layers in to the stone. And that one is $50. So this is a type that is a darker base color, like a brown opal, which is really unique to Ethiopia. It's cool because you turn it in different directions and you get the reds when I go this way and the greens when I go that way and the oranges and blue. Where's the blue? It's blue in there too. It's got all the colors and this one is only 25.
a nice piece. It's about an inch. And next up, SDXOX. Okay, two people claim, three people claimed five Three people, I only see two. Who, who SDXOX, ZU, ZU, Who, and Sam Brian Jr. And which one was first? SDXOX. Okay, SDXOX, another Sam, I assume that's your name. We got that one for you. Your claim came in first. Thank you very much. Um, being new to our store, we'll let you know that we will be sending you a direct message uh, with a link for payment, and that'll happen tomorrow. Thank you, Sam Bryan. Appreciate you. Sam SDXOX, that one is yours. I know there's, there's two Sams here, so I'm just verifying that that one is your claim. So here's another one. This is a chocolatey brown opal. It's got really nice color. It's a little bit thicker. It's color on both sides. Uh, this one could probably be opened up a little bit more with a grinder. It can show some more color. Definitely would open up. It's got color all the way around. That one is $42. A little bit bigger stone. Next one, this is a blue based opal. And this is like water. Lots of greens in that one. A little bit of reds and blues and yellows, heavy in the greens. And it's a nice piece there. It's kind of like Oceanic. That one's 45. Here's another one that's got stripes. We can see the rectangular sections here. It's two-sided. It's got the color opened up on both sides. It looks like the stripes go all the way through. Probably could be opened up a little bit more. I like the stripes are what are uh, in sections there. It's like each section is different. You got some reds and oranges in that one, and this one's green over here, and then turn it, and there's like blue and a little bit of red. And opals are just crazy. It's just full of color. I can totally understand why people get addicted to these things. That one is $60. It's a nice big chunk. I got two more opals to show you. That one's kind of a heart. Aaron Schmarin, 510. Nice claim. We got you on that one, Aaron Schmarin. Mm -hmm. So this one is kind of like a heart with a little divot there. It's got all the colors. And this one is $30. Okay, last one, at least for tonight. I'll make sure next time to prepare more opals. I have lots of opals. We love opals. We have lots and lots of opals on our website too. Okay, Sam, I got you on that one, 519. There, Sam Bryan. Um, so we do have hundreds of opals individually listed on our Etsy shops. Uh, at Throne Stones and also at Crystal Shops USA. That's our second shop. 
Uh, you're welcome to add anything there to what you've got going on here. And we, if you buy something on the Etsy shop, you'll probably end up getting free shipping on everything. Uh, we do charge a little bit of shipping on our live sales, but if you add something from Etsy over $35, you'll end up with free shipping on Etsy, and we will not charge you shipping for your live sale stuff because it will be covered by your Etsy purchase. So this one is nice and three-dimensional. And it's got... A dance of color and this one is thirty-two dollars five twenty. All right, so I'm gonna recap the opals again. This one's 85. This is probably one of the most alive opals. Zuzuhu, we did Aho White, um, but I will show them to you again briefly. You're also welcome to go back and look at the video again. Uh, we did those second. First we did Moldavite, and then we did Aho White. We spent at least 30 minutes on it, um, and there's a good bit of them left and available. Um, I may go forward with some other stuff and then we can talk about what's there if you watch the, the video after we uh, save it. We can discuss anything that's still available. This one's Pinfire, 165. Oops. And this one is a big piece, 175. This one is 45. Awesome, Brit Alexa. Thank you for ordering from our Etsy shop. Yeah, we have lots of really amazing opals on our Etsy shop. Uh, the individual ones are some of our more select ones, and then our, all of our um, Sam Bryant 520. I did not see your claim. Thank you for repeating it, but I do see it now. So I've got that for you, Sam. Um, Brit Alexa. Um, I'm not sure if you bought individuals or if you bought from our stock photo listing, but our stock photo listing is very economical. We have really kept our prices down on that, and we do so by uh, just showing stock photos, and we have a 99% success rate. We, it is our number one selling item, and we ship them all over the world all the time. We barely can keep them in stock, and that's pretty probably because we have really high quality stuff and we're offering it at really fair prices. So I'm really excited for you to get your stones, whether they were individuals or stock photo stones. I'm sure you'll be happy. There's that one. And this is a striped one for 42. And that is all of the opals for tonight. Recapped again. Um, I already showed the Cove Light twice. I think we're going to move on. Uh, if you guys want any more of these opals, feel free to speak up. I can definitely go back for them again. But I do want to move forward. Uh, we got another hour and 15 minutes. Um, and I have one more box of really nice stuff to show you, and then I do have some other stuff that didn't get seen by all of you the other night. Uh, Covalite has two L's, and we definitely have it in both of our Etsy shops. Uh, there's video and still photos. There, These exact pieces are not on there, but we have plenty of really good ones there as well, and there's some larger ones. There may be a few smaller ones, but I haven't restocked them in a while, and the small ones usually sell really quickly. Um, so if you want a Covalite in the 80 to 150 range, and you don't see them on Etsy, then send me a direct message, and I will be happy to show you something. I also am going to put them through another batch through my photography, but my photographers absolutely hate me. When I give them Covalite, it's kind of an, insert, uh, an uh, inside joke because 
they're not as experienced as me at holding the covalite and being like, okay, move it really slowly. And, and it's just not very easy to, to photograph. So um, I will push some through, but pretty rock shiny metal. If you need something in, in, that you didn't see here, you can check the Etsy. And if you still don't see what you like, feel free to shoot me a message. I do have limited shapes. I only have op ovals, rounds, and squares because that's all they cut. Um, not squares, rectangles. Mm. Sorry, I don't have a lot of rounds. It's ovals, teardrops, and rectangles. Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, my other shop is Crystal Shops USA. We, a lot of our stock photo stuff is the same items, but we do have different individuals listed there. And we're going to be diversifying uh, a little bit more in the future there. Uh, Brit Alexa, the stock photo 10 gram lot. I'm really excited for you to receive that. Uh, feel free to send me a message when you get it if you want to give us feedback. And we will make sure that you're pleased. All right. Nicole, can you get me more? Oh, never mind. You already did. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on, we now have tourmaline, rainbow lattice sunstone, blue topaz, imperial yellow topaz, aquamarine, and Herkimer diamonds. <clears throat> I'm going to start with rainbow lattice sunstone. Uh, there's a good story with this. So... Rainbow Lattice Sunstone is a feldspar from northwest or uh, northeast Australia. And this was an internet sensation. A handful of years ago, there was a photo that popped up of a really good piece. And the whole, so all of social media went absolutely bonkers. Like, oh my God, what is that? I have to have that. And everybody was like, this is ridiculous. What is this? And nobody could get it because there wasn't any stock available. So being the source dragon that I am, I was like, I'm going to figure out a way to get this out of the ground. So I called my friend in Australia who is a pretty prolific digger. And I was like, hey, you need to go get this material because there's a really big demand for it and there's no supply. And so he put together a plan and he went and he befriended the claim owner and they started a digging project and they went and they dug a bunch of material. And I was the first one to get some of their stock. Uh, it was like th four years ago now. And they brought some stock and they, you know, sold some in Tucson. And I had a batch of it. It was really nice. And then uh, they stopped coming to Tucson and they stopped mining it. And so there's a very finite supply and they sell it for really high prices. The prices have like doubled and tripled since that first mining project. And I just had a batch cut that I'm showing you tonight. So this is ilmenite and hematite is what makes the uh, lattice and it also does this moonstone effect so and this is they're so hard to photograph my photography people are going to absolutely hate me when i give them these so this is the moonstone side and then it does the sunstone thing which is like the little speckles and then it gets the needles and you have to figure you have to literally find the perfect angle for each of those three things to occur and there's three distinct angles. There's the moonstone, like that. And then there's the sunstone dots. And then there's the ilmenite lattice. And I can assure you that it takes a lot of practice to get that sunstone, or moonstone, sunstone, lattice. Moonstone, sunstone, lattice. If you buy some of these, it's going to take you time to figure out how to do that. I've looked... I've been handling these for four years, and it's not easy to do. This one is $50. Uh, 
a lot of times I sit there and I beat myself over the head trying to figure out how to get these to show the color. And they're very directional. If you don't cut them on the right angle, you're not going to see it very easily. Daniel, I've got you on that. 673 for Daniel. He, he has uh, some going already. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah, so showing these is really difficult. You have to get it at the perfect angle. It has to be cut at the perfect angle. Sometimes it's cut in a way where you, you have to tilt it like this and then the, the lattice is on the side. Or there's lattice on the top, but the angle is to view it is like this. And so you got to look at it like this. And all of those, I consider those second grade and I don't show them because they're just too difficult to even show. So so there's this on moonstone effect. Uh, let me see. Moonstone. Lattice. Moonstone. Lattice. So this is the back side. It's also got good color, good lattice, and moonstone. And this one is $110, 674. I don't know if I'll be able to get these again very easily. Uh, the people who ended up mining it had a falling out and I don't think they're gonna mine it again. And I just got a batch cut, so I have a decent amount to show, but I'm going to go very slowly with them. I'm not in a hurry because, uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one. If this was a GIF, I'd be done for hours. Yeah, totally. Just like, hey, look at this. I mean, mm -hmm. we could make it into a GIF. You know, just like, doot, 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 doot. So there's the sunstone dots. And there's the lattice. And there's the sunstone. And I'll flip it over and see if I can get it to show better. Sunstone. It's very directional. There's the moonstone effect. And there's the lattice. So that one is $50. Daniel, six, seven, five. Thank you very much, my friend. I got you on that claim. I got you on six, seven, five, Daniel. Thank you. Wipe off the fingerprints. Okay, Lattice, show me your face. Show your face, Lattice. All right, I knew this was going to happen. There was going to be one that was going to be like, I'm not going to show you. What are you going to do about it? Um, I'm going to go a little faster here until I find it. All right, there we go. I swear this one wasn't as difficult when I picked it. It's being tricky on me. There we go. And it's full of lattice. And then the back side. There we go.
That one's a hundred. Six, seven, six. Next up. Good lattice on that one. Man, these are tricky. On the back side. Also shows it really well. <laughs> Such a dance. Anyways, got it there on the front. You just gotta play with it. It takes a little bit. They're very directional. It's like way, it's even worse than the Kovalite. It takes a while, you gotta find it. So that one is a hundred. And this one. Has some triangles in there. So sometimes, sometimes you gotta turn it in multiple directions. There's the moonstone effect. I love these triangles in there too. That's so cool. Well, the triangles will flash in a different direction. Sometimes you can get the moonstone and the sunstone effect at the same time. This one's kind of like that. See how the moonstone comes first and the sunstone follows it? So moonstone, sunstone, moonstone, sunstone, <laughs> sunstone, moonstone, sunstone, moonstone. All right, I'm going crazy. That one. The seventy five, six, seven, nine. Uh, we got two more of these to show you. Make sure the fingerprints are gone. All right, that one's nice and easy. This is a little bit larger. Stone, sunstone. Bacon fat, 1369. I love your name. Claim 679. Bacon fat. I like bacon fat. I put it in lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> bacon is good, unless you're a vegan. Yeah, so this one's really cool. The sunstone effect and then the moonstone effect. It comes like back to back. It's cool. There's sunstone and moonstone. Sunstone and moonstone. So when you get these, you always it's always good to play with them and turn them in every direction and be like, all right, what does it look like this way? What does it look like this way? What does it look like this way? So trying to do that here for you but also like trying to mind mind the time and not take like five minutes per stone or else we would never show anything anyways this one's a little bigger that one's 165 680 is the skew rls means rainbow lattice sunstone that's my lazy way okay last one I go by Jess too. Nice to meet you, Jess. I know, I got, I know lots of Jesses. 
Anna, this is Rainbow Lattice Sunstone from Australia. It's got ilmenite and hematite needles, and it's super crazy popular. And I was instrumental in bringing it to market because there was an internet sensation and everybody went crazy and nobody knew how to get it and I sent some people to go mine it and I'm not going to take claim because they did all the work but I definitely was like hey go get this material and they went and got the material and I was one of the first people to get a big batch of it about four years ago and I still have some good ones left and we just had this batch cut I was holding on to some for a rainy day and uh, tried to get a cut about a year ago and everybody shut down and wasn't cutting and I finally got these back and I'm super excited about them because they're awesome. So I think this might be the best one that I'm showing tonight, um, mainly just because it's super loaded with cross hatches and it's pretty easy to show and it's got the sunstone, it's got the colors, it's got the moonstone there, you can see the difference, sunstone, moonstone. Sunstone. Yeah, let me get closer. It's amazing how close I can get to this camera and still stays in focus. Moonstone. Sunstone. Moonstone. Sunstone. Backside's probably also pretty good. <laughs> if I can get it to show. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that one is 185, 677 is the skew. And that is going to do it for Rainbow Lattice. There's five pieces available. To a quick recap, see if I can do this with one hand. It's probably not a good idea. It's like the Covalite. It's like a very difficult to get it with one hand, but there's that one. That's 110. There's this one. Uh, that one was tricky, so. That one's there. That's 100. This one is a hundred, six, seven, eight. Yeah, trying to recap these quickly is, I do not have Pigeon Boy Ruby, I'm sorry. It's not my forte. There's that one. that one and last but definitely not least <laughs> okay that's going to do it for a rainbow out of sunstone if you'd like to go back I'm going to leave them in the background you can always ask me to show them again while I have this card out and we're going to move on I have blue topaz to show you this is a really neat find small blue topazes from Irongo, Namibia this was found, I think, in 2018. It's not a very common occurrence. They're usually not blue. And they're slightly elongated, which is not super common for topaz, but these are inexpensive. This is $20. Um, I have an iPhone 12 Max Pro at Wood 81. And I've gotten really good at using it. So this has got a pinacoid termination. Sam, 681. 
Thank you, Sam. That is Blue Topaz from Irongo, Namibia. Does not come very often. This one's got a pinacoid termination and a little bit of feldspar. I'm not sure what the black inclusion is. It could be tourmaline. It might be something else. That one's also $20. And for size reference, it's about the size of my pinky nail. Definitely not very common. And this is a little cluster. Termination here. And there's a termination there. And yeah, it's a neat little cluster there. That one is $30. I have a group of these. I only picked out a few. They're not all perfect. These are some of the better ones, but I do have a little group of them. That if some Sam or if somebody, if you want some more of these, I can show you some more in a private message. Uh, here's a another one. A terminal face here. Terminal face here. And I think that one is partially doubly terminated. And that one is $30. And the last one I have to show you tonight in Blue Topaz is this cluster. I don't have a lot of these. This might be the only one that I have. Uh, I might have some somewhere. I took some of these to Japan. Uh, I don't know how many I have left, but here's this Topaz. Um, I think it might be might be doubly terminated but this is topaz and this is all smoky quartz it's a nice interesting combo this is a little bit bigger and that one is forty dollars all right Gonna move on to some teal colored tourmaline crystals. These are from Karabib district in Namibia from a mine called Entwaben. Here, let me show that like that. That'll help it. They are a little jammy. Nice flat termination. It's actually tricolored. There's teal at the top, yellow in the middle, and a little bit of pink on the bottom. And you can see the rind like that. And this is $60. And the next one. There's a termination. Looks like a twin. A little triangle on the top. Nice teal in color. I think it's a little bit washed out on the camera. It looks like there's a little bit more color to my eyes than what I'm seeing on the screen. Just a little. That one's 55. Next up, that one sixty five. It's a little bit longer, it's probably three quarters of an inch. We've got three more of these to show you. This one has a little bit of lapidolite on the side and it has a pink cap.
That one is $52. And this stuff comes from one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Uh, Namibia is a very fascinating country. It's one of the safest places in Africa, which is relative. It doesn't mean it's like super safe, but it's safer than a lot of places in Africa. I took my family there in 2018 and we went on safari and we had all kinds of crazy experiences and bought from a, a women's miners collective, a bunch of women miners and, and bought all of their stuff and went and saw all kinds of people and saw all kinds of animals and just had what an amazing trip. Definitely a bucket list experience. If you ever get a chance to go to Africa, go to Namibia. Go to the Atosha National Park and see all the animals. And we are definitely going to do that again because Namibia is loaded with minerals. And it's just a great time. And it's one of the most diverse uh, ecological places I've ever been. It's like you'd be driving down the road and like you're in the place where there's like all these uh, like brush and bush and trees and beautiful stuff and then all of a sudden it just turned it into like desolate desolate desert like out of nowhere and like every couple hours that you drive like the topography really changes and it's not like anywhere else I've ever been very cool place that's a nicely terminated piece with a pink cap that one is $32 This light is not really doing this very amazing justice to these pieces. 690, Sam Bryan. I, I knew you were going to take that one. I almost put it aside for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's going to want that one. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. I got your claim. All right, this is the last one that I have to show. This one is the most colorful that I have in this group. It's a little bit more teal saturated color. It is a little bit incomplete here on the back. And it's got a nice little bit of pink in there. And could cut a really nice cabochon or maintain as a specimen. It's got enough of a termination, could be considered a specimen. That one is $55. All right, Atwood 81, 691. Thank you very much. I'm really excited about your uh, ET Moldavite. That piece is so cool. I kind of want to carve another one just to keep it. What a cool piece. All right, moving along. This is a Russian Lidicoatite tourmaline. That's a big fancy name. Uh, that means it has a different chemistry. And I couldn't tell you off the top of the head what that is. But it's a very uh, fancy keyword that everybody loves. Everybody loves Lidicotite. You're welcome, Matt Wood. Thank you very much. All right, so this is a bigger piece. This is Russian. It is a 10-gram stone. Yeah, the ET piece, stellar. What a great, what a great score. So this piece is 150. And size wise. Could make a nice piece of jewelry. And I got one more Russian piece. This is a bicolored piece. It is yellow in the core and pink on the top. You can see the yellow really well. Pink in the center and, sorry, yellow in the center and pink on the outside and red on the top. It's got like one, two, three crystals there. Nicely terminated, a little bit of feldspar. 
Yeah, it's a really nice one, isn't it? And that one is three hundred and twenty dollars. Twenty grams. So for those of you that might just be joining us, quick recap, there's rainbow lattice sunstone up there, we got blue topaz here, there's Namibian tourmaline here, a couple of Russian tourmalines here, and I've got four aquamarines, three imperial topazes, seven Herkimer diamonds. Daniel, 685. Awesome. Appreciate you. That's the blue topaz on Smoky Quartz. Oops, sorry. That's a nice claim. Thank you very much. Nice matrix piece. Good mineral combination. And that's a Daniel's pile. So I should keep it zoomed. Let's do this. All right. Next up. Aquamarine crystal with the termination. This is from also from Irongo, Namibia. And let me get my light right. It has black tourmaline and feldspar on the back. It's very nicely terminated on the top. And we've got really reasonable prices on these, I believe. Uh, this is really nice quality. Good blue color. Good transparency. Decent transparency. And that one is $45. Next, 694, Daniel. Thank you, my friend. That's a good claim. Next one is this. It's a little bit lighter in color. It's a little bit more translucent. Uh, it's got a flat side right here where it grew against a wall and a very nice flat termination. A little bit of black tourmaline on the top. And that one is $28. Really good price for a nice jammy aquamarine. Daniel, 695. Sam, Daniel beat you to that one, at least on my screen. Um, but not to worry, I do have a lot of aquamarine. I'm not showing a lot tonight, but I am happy to show you some others if you want something on the side. If you, I can, I have many, many, many boxes of aquamarine that I bought many years ago. And I can offer you really good prices on this. Here's another piece. It's got shoral black tourmaline on the side. Nice flat termination. Um. Looks like some Goshenite, which is a colorless aquamarine, and then of course the blue aquamarine. That was 26 bucks. All right, Sam, I got you for 696. Thank you very much. All right, this one is a little bit bigger. This is almost 15 grams. It has a modified hexagonal shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's nice flat termination. A little bit of black tourmaline on the bottom. And it's got some good clarity to it in the top. 
that one, $75. This is a much bigger piece, a lot of weight to it. three imperial topazes from Brazil shifting continents now again this is imperial topaz nice elongated very good color uh, exceptional termination and about three quarters of an inch and it's really really well priced six nine eight thirty bucks Another Imperial Topaz, classic Topaz, shape and termination. This is from Ouro Preto, Brazil. Very famous deposit. Um, I actually have some of these from Africa that I just got cleaned that I will be showing in the near future. There's a new find, which is really cool. And a really good color. That one's $24. And I got one more of these to show you for now. It's a little bit smaller. Nice and jammy. Classic topaz shape. That one is twenty dollars. So this is our current offering. Sam, I got you at seven hundred. L seven hundred for twenty dollars. So there's five rainbow lattices up there. We got three blue topazes. We got th four teal tourmalines. Two Russians. One aquamarine, two imperial topazes, and I have seven Herkimer diamonds to show you. And then, if there's some time left, I can go over some other stuff that was that I have prepped as well. Let's see how much I got left. So. These are from Ace of Diamonds in Herkimer. Very famous locality, very famous courts all over the world. Uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, raw, raw lattice sunstones. Mm, I didn't show any tonight. I have some that are tumbled and not shaped. I probably have some raw somewhere. You need to send me a direct message and I'll, I can show you this. So Floak, here's the Russian ones. This is, let me get my light going on here. It's got a nice like cranberry color with a little orange in the center. That one's a tabby. That one, 150, 10 grams. 
And this one is like three crystals and it's a bicolored. It is yellow, pink on the outside, yellow in the center, and red capped. And that one is 20 grams, 320. I had 500 on this for a long time. I love this yellow. This is just like really stunning. So Handmade Earth, if you want to send me a direct message, I can um, I can show you some raw. I don't have a lot of raw. I just cut a lot of the ones that I had in the raw because I was I held them for that reason. Um, but I might still have a few raw ones left. Um, have to look. All right. Herkimer, Herkimer, Herkimer dies. So. Sure. Quick scan of the lattice. Um, this is, these are really hard to do with one hand. So I'll just quickly show you. This is this one. It's got really good lattice and the sunstone. So it's like sunstone, moonstone together. Uh, that one is, I believe, the best one that I had to show. That one's 185. Oh, I keep bumping this light. And this one has triangles. I mean, overall, there was a large crystal that was pink in matrix. Um, are you talking about Aho White? Hmm. You talking about anything on this page, or are you talking about stuff over there? Like, this is all opals. The only thing on matrix that... Mm, pink on matrix. I mean, there's this Aho White. This was a I don't think that's what you're talking about with a pink matrix. I don't remember a pink matrix one. Um, so I'm not sure how to help you with that. If you could be more specific, I might be able to pinpoint it, but um, yeah, let me know if you can be more specific. It was earlier along the back of the table. You mean opal? Pink matrix. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of drawing blanks on that. I don't... Sorry about that. Push the wrong button here. Let me take my phone out real quick. Let me show you everything we did. This was all Moldavite. And this is Moldavite. And then all this is Ahoite. And then there's Covalite and Opals. And if you don't see what you're looking for, then it was claimed. There is not another table that I've shown tonight that was everything so I'm not exactly sure what you were referring to it might have sold if you do find out what exactly it was maybe you could go back in the video after it's saved uh, I might have another one because I do have a lot of stock um, but I don't know exactly what it is that you're referring to so I don't know if I can tell you if I have it or not but I do appreciate your interest Thank you for going back and asking me about it. Anyway, so Herkimer's, I'm gonna run through these really quick. Uh, these are from Ace of Diamonds. These are nice and clear. They're very famous. This is $17 for this. This is A grade. And here's another A grade Herkimer. Sam, 703. Awesome. Thank you very much. Here you go. And this one's 701. 
it is eighteen dollars it's got a little damage there but it's a nice piece really nice and clear it's got some rainbows looks like my numbers are backwards here so it's okay there's a contact there where it was touching another crystal. This is a super clear Herkimer Diamond from the Ace of Diamonds mine. I've got a little bit of hydrocarbon. That one is $20. 702. This one is 704. It's got some carbon in the center, DT, nice and clean, a little bit of rainbows, that one is $16, and this one, a little bit smaller, Sam704, got you on that. Thank you very much. This one is a little bit smaller. This one is 705. It's also A grade. This one is $14. This PLNG. I don't speak that language, so I apologize. I'm not able to uh, respond to what you just wrote all right this one i consider a b grade just because it's more included this is a much bigger piece what is it called when they have little crystal cities inside them uh crystals inside is called a manifestation crystal uh it's usually where like a crystal forms as a negative space and then it's usually a hollow or empty and that's how there's water bubbles inside um, I do, I don't know if I have any Herkimers like that, but absolutely I have some, uh, from Madagascar and I have some in Cabochons and, um, they grow in lots of different ways and rutilated quartz and demortierite. Uh, so I'll try to pick something out or if you have a more specific idea of what you think you want, you can send me a direct message and maybe I can show you something. Uh, so this one has really good rainbows. This is a much bigger piece. Lots of rainbows. B grade Herkimer. No, we don't have any ruby, thanks. Yeah, we don't we don't have a lot of ruby for sale. We do have ruby in our Etsy shop, though. Go to our Etsy shop, thronestones.etsy.com. Um, yeah, we can show that next. I do have a couple of ruby fuchsite spheres, but I don't have any, like, ruby crystals or ruby cabochons. So, that is... Uh, I have one really big one that I'm about to show, Handmade Earth. This is the second biggest one. And then there's this really large one. Well, I wouldn't call it really large, but it's the largest one that I have tonight. And this one is super, super clear. This is an A-grade. Lots of rainbows. This is 57 grams. It's got some carbon in it. Uh, there's a contact point there. It does have a little bit of an incomplete part right there, but it's a really, really, really nice piece. There's just rainbows all over. They just flash in the center. There's one here. There's one there. There's one there. There's rainbows in there. All this carbon. So it's a big stone. Big-ish. That one is 120. Which for a Herc that clear and that size, that's actually a pretty good deal. Like these crystals have gone up a lot in the last year. Uh, I could probably put 250 on that and it wouldn't be unrealistic. All 
All right, that is all of the Herkimers that I have to show. So there's Herkimers, Topaz, Aqua, Russian Tourmaline, Namibian Tourmaline, Blue Topaz, Rainbow Lattice. All right, we got 20 minutes. Let's see what else I can come up with. Definitely have some more rocks here. Um, all right, so for those of you that are still here, would you like to see Agnimani or Tibetan Tektites or Numite Cabochons from Greenland? Um... Triple A grade Peter site. Yeah, handmade earth, the large Ahoy point. This thing is amazing. I assume you're talking about this. This is the largest one I have on the table. This is fifteen hundred dollars. It is polished and it's very saturated. Peter Sight, all right, we got, a we got a request. So we got Peter Sight, we got New Might, uh, Tibetan Tektite, which is not actually from Tibet, but that's what people call it. Handmade Earth, if that is sufficient for you to view that piece, I'm gonna put it back over here. All right, so. Go through the others real quick. Uh, do you want to see all of the Ahoite? That is something that you... It might be better to go back and watch the video. Um, because all of that is easy to see what is still available. That one's 750 uh, This one is 450 And then we have... Yeah. I'll just give you one more. There's other ones. You can definitely go back to the video. Like this one is 110. This is Ahoy uh, on the little base here. And I described all of those in detail. Uh, we'll be saving the video. Okay, let me see about making some room here. And let's see if I can split the remaining time that I have between Peter's site and, you know, I haven't shown the tech tights at all yet, and I could do this really quickly. So let me show some of these tech tights here. Where are they? I'm gonna show you this whole flat. So, oh, this is annoying. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so, they call this Tibetan tech type, but that's a marketing name. They're actually from Guangdong province, not from Tibet. Um, these are really well priced. There's nothing over $25. Like this is the biggest, one of the biggest ones. This is 25 bucks. Ugh, that one's 386 as they skew. This one's 387. And that one's $22. This one's 388. This one's 33 dollars. I'm gonna try to go through these really quickly. 389. That one's 16, 390, that one's 23, this one's a little bit longer, that one's 28, this one's 25, that one is 11, That one's 23. 
These are Tibetan, well, they're tektites from China. They're marketed as Tibetan tektites. They're technically not from Tibet. That was a book of stones, Robert Simmons. Uh, pull the wool over everybody and call them Tibetan because that makes them sell better, but they're actually from Guangdong province, not Tibet. They are the same thing as what everybody calls Tibetan tektites. That one's 15. Uh, this one is 16. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. Then we can show this whole flat really quickly. Um, that one's 22. Sam, if this is something you're interested in too for your shop, uh, I might can sell you these in bulk if you want to send me a message. I'm not sure if you want these or not. Uh, that one's 23. This one is 13. 14. 14. I do have Agni Mine. 19. So these are pretty standard tektites. These are little groups here, the three pieces for 18, three pieces for 16, three pieces for 20. And three pieces for 22. Let um, me move around here. This Agni Mani I have is here. Uh, this is the round variety. This piece is $17. Let's see if I can get it to shine. And some of them are more translucent than others. This one is 25. The larger ones tend to be less translucent. Uh, let's see. This one is 20. And this little group, this is three stones for 19. So if any of these are something that you'd like to see, uh, give me an idea. Otherwise, I'm going to move on. That one's four stones for $16. This one, two stones for 20 And that one. Paused. Okay, we're back. Poor connection. I wonder if that's because I'm moving around so much. Maybe. I got 15 minutes left. All right. Anybody want tektites going once? I can show these again in the future. I'm going to put these away. Oh, I never did these sujolites. I forgot about those. That's okay. We'll do those next time. All right. Let me get this back here. Let's show you some Peter site really quickly. Don't have a lot of time left. This is really high grade Peter site. Peter site is one of the stones that got me into selling stones in general. All of these are hand selected out of a really large batch. It's really good. Chatoyance going on here. And it's just super, super material. That one is 75. This one, multicolored. Good chatoyance. That one is 44.
Wow, look at that. That's amazing. That's got all the colors. Reds, yellows, blues, orange. I don't have any spheres in Peter's side. I only have tumbles. Uh, it's kind of hard to get spheres. And Peter's side is really um, porous. And it has a lot of pits, so it's hard to get good spheres because a lot of times they are pitted. It's not impossible. I might be able to do that in the future, but for now I have really good tumbles, and that's all i got. Look at this one. This has got the red and the yellow and the blue and the orange. That one's just stellar. I had one really killer, killer Peter Sight sphere. Um, but I sold it. It was also like three grand. Oops. Uh, it was in my collection for a really long time. This one, it's got really nice isolated cells. Super stuff. That one's 35. Yeah, this one might be one of my favorites. This is like a dragon. It just reminds me of... It's just like fire. This one's so cool. That one's 42. It's got all the colors too. It's just like the yellows and reds and blues and blacks and a little bit of quartz on the side and chatoyants and it's just crazy stuff. That one's 30. Amazing, amazing, amazing material. It's not easy to get really good Peter sight. Uh, yeah, the video usually gets posted immediately after we end the video. Uh, after the live and they cut us off at four hours and we're coming up in about 10 minutes we're going to have to turn off the camera so it will go to our IGTV right away the Ahoite was the second thing that we uh, showed and the Moldavite was first and it took me about an hour so after the first hour if you want to view the Ahoite you will see it after the first hour. Handmade Earth. Yes, the flashy, flashy blue is amazing, crazy material. 50 bucks on that one. Here's another super flashy blue. Flashy, flashy blue. <sighs> Four hours goes by really fast. I could probably do this for six hours, but I'd, my wife would go crazy. Mm -hmm. That one's 40 bucks. These Peter sites are so amazing. They're some, it's some of my favorite material. Peter site is one of the things that got us hooked on selling rocks. When I first found Peter site, I was like, oh my God, what the hell is going on here? Why is it so cool? How is it even possible that a rock can do this? Like, it's not even fair. And I bought a bunch of it. And it was the first thing that I ever listed on eBay. And it sold, I sold my first rock 45 minutes after I posted it. And my dad thought I was crazy. And I was like, look, I'm selling rocks. And he's like, you're crazy. But it started us off, kicked us off right away. It's the first rock we sold online right away. Uh, smaller Moldavite pendants that you could send a message about. Yes, I do have some other ones. Uh, I have faceted and I have smaller naturals. And I actually have a parcel of even smaller ones, like two and three gram pieces 
that are in the mail that it should be here next week. Um, moldavite rings, yes. She has, we have lots of moldavite rings, and we have all sizes, even for kiddos. We have moldavite rings down to size 4, which is like definitely kid size. I gave We gave one to my nephew the other day, and he's tiny. He's 9, and he's like tiny. So size 4 is the lowest size in moldavite rings that we have, all the way up to 10 and a half. Uh, this is a bigger Peter site. That one's 120. And... Here's a really nice one. Look at all this pattern. You guys need to jump on one of these Peter sites. These things are incredible. All right. Uh, yes, Melissa, you can definitely claim that. So, Melissa McKenna, 90, claiming Pickle Rick Moldavite. That is so awesome. I'm glad you came back for that, Melissa. Thank you so much. And I've got a little Moldavite chip to add to that to include with your pendant. That's great. I love how people come back and say hey. Uh, yeah, Dyslexic Coffee Addict, you can message me. Uh, I'll definitely get you whatever you need for your kid's hand size. Thank you so much, Melissa. I appreciate it. Uh, moving right along. Peter site, you guys really are missing out. If you... Or any, if you're anything like me and you love the patterns and the craziness and rocks, I would definitely jump at one of these. These things make me nuts. They're so cool. Super cool. Um, maybe I'll jump on for that extra hour. You know how we can close? Huh? Like, Instagram lets you jump on for an extra hour after your video. Like, we could turn it back on. I know you probably don't want to, but I could probably wing it. So, yeah. Awesome. So the the rings that I have that are go down all the way... Well, if she got one of the oval, the little tiny mini rings, we still have those. Uh, the, the ones that I'm talking about that go down to four, five, and six sizes are actually raw pieces. They're a little bit bigger. Uh, that's the type two uh, that I showed that night. Look at this. This is a heart. Don't show my wife. I can't see because you're delayed. Delayed. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> now okay. it's 55. All right, we got five more minutes. I may come back for the extra reprise hour because why not? Um, Instagram lets you come back on for an hour to finish up your stuff. And all the California people. Might be awake. A cu kissing couple. What was, which one was that? On the, the heart. This one here? Kissing couple. Where is that? I don't think I see that. I see the heart. I love how everybody sees different things in rock sometimes. I, I see a face. There's like an eye here and an eye here and lips. With like a heart on its forehead. Oh yeah, those Peter sites. Yeah, Peter site's so cool. That one's crazy. Uh, five eight five again. Yeah, where is that one? Five eight five is this one. This is seventy five dollars. Cool, thanks, Dyslexic Coffee Addict. Um, I'm happy to show you those in a private message. So, 400-420-6666. Um, so, this is a Rebakite pseudomorph into quartz. It's an asbestos mineral that creates the fibers and is replaced by quartz. All right, claim for 1-800-420-6666. 585 $75. Thank you very much.
There we go. So I think I'm going to do the, uh, the reprise hour. So when Instagram kicks me off here in a few minutes, I'm actually going to end the video. Ah, no, I think they kicked me off. I'm going to let them kick me off. And then I'm going to start over again. And I think they give me a reprise hour. So... You're talking about, you've seen people see Peter's site like this? Or not like this. Yeah, these are really good. I have a huge batch, and I picked really, really good ones. And a lot of times, they're not like this. This one's kind of weird because it's got a greenish color to it. I mean, it's not green green, but it's like kind of like a greenish hue to it. I don't really know how else to describe that, but it's not like any of the other ones. So... For all of you guys who are paying attention, like I said, I will be coming back on after Instagram kicks me off in three minutes. And we will see you again here very shortly. Um, all you California people who just joined us, um, I know it's early over there, so... Yeah, these are all really unique. Look at the um the look at the patterning and the zoning on this, like the blockiness and then you got little chatoya areas in the middle. Super super cool. I don't really know why Instagram limits this to 4 hours. Like what's the point of that? I mean, it does it what's the I don't understand why that makes sense. Especially now that they're like trying to make everybody pay for badges. It's like it doesn't really make sense to me, but I don't know, maybe it's a bandwidth thing. It's almost like Labradorite, but it's different. It's called Chatoyance. Um, it's got more of like a cat's eye effect. It's definitely the same minerals as uh, Tiger's Eye, but it's got a lot more going on. It, it obviously goes in a bunch of different directions and all that stuff. All right, I got my two-minute warning going on, so you guys stick around, and I will turn the camera back on. I need to save the video afterwards. Um, so it may not be like one minute afterwards, but I will definitely turn the live back on a few minutes after they kick me off. I've got a minute and 30 left, minute 30 seconds left. So this is a really thick one. Uh, it's nice and got a lot of weight to it. That one's a hundred bucks. And it's just super, super. What am I going to show? I guess afterwards I've got some new mic to show. I don't even know what I'm going to show if I come back for an hour. What am I going to show? All right. One minute. I do have some sujolite I can show. I should, yeah, okay. That's. I'll start with that. That's what I'll do. I need to kind of clean up some stuff here, though. Let me see here. One minute warning. Oh, I've got this row. Show this roto. I can show this. I mean, all this stuff actually. All right, 30 seconds. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to clean up a little bit of this mess and save the video. And I will be right back. Quartz available. 